camera is moved. So let me pop. Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. I guess that's fine. I guess I'll be over there. It's cool. Oh, I know the struggles. <laughs> so many games all the time. I know, I know, I don't remember. You know, I've got Dungeons and Dragons we're playing. I'm working through this all character run of Chrono Cross. And then I've got Final Fantasy V and then Final Fantasy fourteen. A lot. So looks like we're in Marbule. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'm kind of remembering. Um, seven thirty-two fifty. This is the one. This is the one. Uh, those commands really are going over my head. So Givcom is a giving. Kind of like a friendly hug, gives a commendation. Yes, uh, I did unfortunately let chat name our characters. Uh, we have some interesting selections so far. <laughs> no, they're all getting named daddies for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> so I believe, oh, can we go here? Big PP, I like it. Well, he is, look at him. <laughs> He's a big peefee man. <laughs> six foot tall, only 66 pounds. How that works, I don't know. <laughs> there's big peepee -pee that implies there's small peepee. -pee. Oh no. Oh no. Alright. So I'm pretty sure this entire map is open to us. I think this is our first time having a ship in the homeworld. So I guess we'll just kind of wander because I really don't remember what I need to be doing. I guess I should have watched the VOD from last week. Under the sea. Gonna swap over to my phone and roam around my house till I can accept it is indeed time for bed. Okie dokie. It's a very cozy, cozy ocean scene. These fish are annoying though. Big PP found Mithril. <laughs> no! <laughs> I can't do that the rest of this playthrough. I just can't. <laughs> Okay. Here, use your black hole. This is the content I need right now. <laughs> well, we're here for it. We we will provide. It's the dirtiest. <laughs> I'm a cozy streamer, I promise. I promise I'm extra, extra cozy. That's that's my brand. Cozy. Right, Emmy? Emmy knows. Emmy knows I'm cozy. Wow, they're toughies. Uh, then I started playing Project Playtime and all of that went out the window. <laughs> Oh no, I could see that. I can't play those games, they spook me. Dirty and cozy can coexist. This is true, Squid. This is true. I've found that uh, amongst my asexual uh, or agender uh, friends, they read some of the most filthiest things. <laughs> <laughs> that they can lay their hands on. It's very fascinating how that all plays out. <laughs> Accurate. <laughs> I mean, he's like, I like Project Playtime. It's not scary. I mean, it's scary. I don't like scary. Can you imagine if I actually streamed a scary game? I would die. I would probably die. 
There's so many fish. Stop fish. I want treasure. No. <laughs> you think it doesn't scare me? Accurate. Because sex is hilarious when you're not into it. It, it actually is. This is true. Hey, Sunny. Welcome in. <laughs> Sus is often hilarious even if you are into it. Yes. Uh, it's the most time I said it's in my life. Oh, why all those actual people like dirty stuff too. <laughs> all right, Mr. Big PP, you take all the fish. Oh, there you go. Farming uh, commendations from the bot. Always cozy. I'm just getting boinked by these fish. 79% chaos. That's quite, quite, quite much chaos. Why won't these fish die? I don't understand. Wait. Here lies daddy. R.I.P. Our beloved daddy. No, I couldn't have died. I'm daddy. R.I.P. Daddy. Yep. 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 Yes, I have changed the daddy command. Uh, it no longer plays the long audio track. It does still maybe exist. Uh, but we're going to try to monopolize the love of that chaos. So if you donate 69 biddies. You might be able to figure it out. <laughs> Alright, uh, I don't want big PP. I want links. Links. Why do I keep getting big PP? No, links. Oh, because links out of stamina. Okay. Hate when you run out of stamina. It's alright. Harley's got this. She's got. Uh, Lunarity. Come on, botch slap the dumb out of you. Hey, Plunge. Welcome on in. Quick, someone throw those biddies. Don't get me on my toes. <laughs> but it has to specifically be 69 biddies. Wow, these fish are actually tough. Ba -na -na -na. Oh damn. We got the star fragment. Perfect. Mm -hmm. We need that for Starkey. Wow, look at her grid. It is huge. She has such a big grid. Oh my god, yes, daddy. Give it oh to my me, god, daddy. yes, daddy. Harder, daddy. Give it to me, daddy. Yes, daddy. Harder, daddy. Been such a bad yes, girl, daddy. Harder, daddy. Such a bad girl, daddy. Harder, 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 Oh, I'm glad that works. <laughs> I hope I hope you got your money's worth of entertainment there. <laughs> oh my god. I mean you're right. We do need to put Hobbs's face on Manderville's head. <laughs> I'll have to edit that. <sighs> I found that clip. It was like I have to. Obsessive definitely has uh, Manderville vibes. Uh, it looked kind of like Colonel Sanders. That's actually Godbird. He's a character. From... Oh my God! Yes, <laughs> Thank daddy. Thank you, Squid. Oh my God! Yes, daddy. Sixty-nine biddies. Give it to me, yes, daddy. Harder, daddy. Harder, daddy. Such a bad girl, yes, daddy. Harder, daddy. <laughs> such a bad girl, daddy. Don't harder, stop, daddy. Ooh, harder, daddy. daddy. Don't stop, Spank daddy. Harder, Ooh, daddy. daddy. I promise Spank I will be a good girl, daddy. daddy. I promise I will be a good girl, daddy. Thank you. <laughs> Just an entire stream filled with this, yes. So if you're gonna bully me, 
with your daddy commands. <laughs> At least I'm gonna profit from it. <laughs> All right, can we get out of here? I think I got what I needed. Oh, this way. Yeah, Godbert is a character from Final Fantasy XIV. He's part of the Manderville quest line. You have to rub oil on him uh, several times during the game. Uh, and he owns the, the gold saucer, like from Seven. Let's find Starkey. He should be up here. He's so cute! Uh, there's a point in the post-Stormblood quest where you actually talk to him for a serious reason, and it's kind of amazing. Yeah, he's a really cool character. So <laughs> daddy. Thank you, Abby, for that clippy. <laughs> yes, I don't have a formal biddies menu, but uh, I will have to continue uh, growing, growing those commands. I put something at a hundred biddies and another thing up in five hundred biddies, but. Nothing I was too, too enthused to share publicly yet. How come he doesn't have that skill when he's a big, or a big boy? Interesting. I want to kill it because I don't know if I can use him in my forget-me-not pot. Forever zero. What's this do? Ooh. I have not used this skill. Ooh, it's pretty. Wow. 805 damage. Okay, man. Why does he have so much HP? All right, another black hole. That should do it. Nope, he's bloodied though. Oh, he's healing. Cute. Oh no, Emmy, you had to ban balls 857. <laughs> Did you know that the critically acclaimed MMO RPG Final Fantasy XIV Tell us, has a free trial and includes the entirety of a realm reborn? It sure does. Heaven's Ward expansion engine up to level 60 with up to no level 60 with literally no restrictions on playtime. Yes. So, uh, Sky is a fabulous streamer, friend to the, uh, channel, who just hit 1,000 followers on Twitch. So if you want to add, uh, more love to that number, give him a follow. He's heckin' cozy. He's been doing a lot of first playthroughs for Final Fantasy, kind of getting, getting an understanding of the vibe there. It's been really cool. It's been really cool to see his journey. He also has some really fun little bits that he does. Uh, soon you're going to be, uh, he's going to take a little vacation and he's going to have uh, Chef Sky, a special guest star from Italy, is going to be uh, starring, making some ratatouille. <laughs> That's what he said. 
<laughs> so the real monster of this. So the real body of the monster was this small. Catch him with A. Oh no. Can I get it? <laughs> oh, where did he go? Come here. No. I will get you. I will get you. I'm coming for you, little thing. No. I got it. I shocked. I got caught you in. Big PP pee -pee says, who are you? I come from faraway stars. But Starkey ship fall from sky. Star fragment is Starkey ship fragment. The ship turned to fragments after crash. So that's why you were collecting fragments. If you're lucky, your ship might still be intact in the other world. Really? Whoopee! Starkey will come meet you. Starkey join your party. Alright, who wants to name the adorable Starkey? Any takers? Any takers? Uh, Emmy votes alien daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, thank you, Snake. Thank you. Appreciate that. Ooh, it is small. He is small. He could be small, Daddy. He's a baby. He literally fits in the children's clothing. <laughs> so, Emmy, do you want alien Daddy or small Daddy? Oh, Proxy says, and you already know he's small. Ooh. Ooh. All right. All right. We're going to go with that. <laughs> More PP. <laughs> Can I not? Okay. A. L. L. E. P. E. P. A. P. Ba -ba -bow, ba -ba -bow. Small, small PP, just two letter P's, you think? Or should I do PP, the full, full, full thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Small PP. You want the full? All right, Squid wants full. She wants he, the legal name to be. Or do you want small? Small PP? S M O small small P P like that. <laughs> it's Proxy's choice. Proxy, do you prefer small P P or small P P? Your choice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, let's uh, let's do a quick mod love. I've got some awesome mods, y'all. <laughs> Give them some loves. They bully me, but only because they love me. Yeah, it's it's a critical decision, Proxy. We need to know. Do you want small PP? <laughs> or he says small PP. Okay. Proxy says small pee pee. Hello, Silent Snake. Good to see you, friend. Oh, welcome in. Thank you again for the subby. I don't know if you heard me earlier. I appreciate that. All right. We've got big pee pee. And now we've got small pee pee. <laughs> oh, man. You guys are ridiculous. I love it. All right. Starkey is now our friend. It is complete. Okay, time to go! I'll be doing it about PP tonight! Well, Joshua, I hope they are wonderful, wonderful dreams. Let's give you a nice good night. There you go. Now I'm give you another shouty. On the way out, give Joshua some love, y'all. He's playing Project Peppy. Happy playtime. Emmy's favorite. Look at that. 
I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I really, really, really wanna zig a zig. Oh, when you think about that, now you know how I feel. I couldn't save her. It's kind of interesting to have this like beboppy, happy music playing when you've got, you know, such a sad scene going on over in that room. Bum 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 So I've seen that there's been a debate I think it was on Twitter I saw it Um People obviously love expressing their opinions on Twitter <laughs> Uh but the debate was about the use of clips as shoutouts And there's a camp that says we love them we want all of them And then there's another camp that's like no we don't want them Let's not use them. I don't know how, where, where I fit. Because I think, I don't know, I've been spending a lot of time when I take a look at my clips after stream of making sure I know what's going to be there. But sometimes I'm a little baby streamer and I have like 20 clips a stream sometimes to sort through. <laughs> and I could imagine when you're a larger content creator, that must be impossible to sort through. So I gotta, I gotta think about that policy because I, I find clippies really fun and entertaining, but I also don't want people to be uncomfortable. So I've gotta, gotta figure out what's the best approach there. I'm look foreign born. Is it cause I'm a big pee pee, a clown lady and a furry? Am I being denied entry? Are y'all discriminating against us? The heck? PP found a tablet. Uh, Bowser has subscribers only able to make them, so he has it limited. That makes sense. That's one way to limit it. But even then, I think I think some people have different feelings about it. I mean, I love her. She's so kind. There's a piece of paper with some writing on it, but we don't know what it said. Okay. Sus. Squid says, I like clips. I do too. Making clips is one of my favorite ways to, to tell someone, I love you. I love hanging here. I want to celebrate, uh, celebrate this cozy chaos you're creating. <laughs> it makes me happy. Uh, I love clips. It's a good way to celebrate to see you have coming in if it's a raid or something. Absolutely. Or to make those little breaks go by faster. Yeah. But I guess I need to figure out how to get like a, what do you call it? A whitelist, right? Rather than a blacklist, a whitelist. Like if somebody comes into the stream and they're like, oh yeah, I'd love for you to share my clippies. I would love to be able to add them to like maybe a whitelist of uh, approved people. And then, you know, when you do a shout out, it automatically does a clippy for them. And if they've opted out, um, then it won't do a clippy. But that requires some maths programming and mix it up that I haven't haven't done yet. But I think that's probably the best way to do it. Because I know a lot of people, they, they love their clippies. Like me, I love clippies. They're so funny. All right, so this village doesn't have anything going on in it. Okay. There's no dragon. There's nothing here. Okay. I think I just need to get on the ship. I'm guessing that's what I need to do. Okay. And I can't go there. Um, Have I I've been to Termina, right? Yes. We've been to Termina. Have we been to the Water Dragon Island? I think we did. Didn't one? Wasn't there like a massacre here? Yeah, we saw this already. Okay. 
So maybe we'll go here. Hmm. No, I don't think I need to go here. So either we can go on that ship or go here. What's here? Somebody live here. Hello? Got an energizer suit, whatever that does. Oh, there's a chest right there. Did I never come in here the last playthrough? Resistance ring? I don't remember any of those treasures. Alright, well, there's treasures uh, here, if you didn't know. <laughs> I evidently didn't. All right, there's nothing there. So it looks like the only thing to do is to get on that ship. Or I could plunder uh, that, but I don't want to deal with it. Uh, audio on the video feed is slightly desynced. It's probably my camera. All right, give me one second to reset that. So where do you live, camera? Here? Okay. Close. Hmm. That happens to me a lot because my computer is old. I need to build a new computer someday. It's like five years old. Okay. And I don't know if that's any better. Is it still loading? Come on, Kabooter. You can do it. Eh, it still looks lagged. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, so I think this is where we need to bang. Oh, this is the part we get turned into a cat. That's right. I love that we get to get turned into kitties. That's really cute. Alright. So in this world, the demi-humans have basically turned into slaves. Which is awful. Absolutely awful. But they do have a lot of cute cats. Here's Mickey. You're a strange threesome. I thought everyone here was here to see Nikki. Don't you don't look like typical fans, though. Are you fans? No. You don't have to say that just to please me. I'm Mickey. I'm the lead dancer for the Magical Dreamers. Nobody seems to understand the heart and soul of our performance. I want everyone to get goosebumps from the message we try to convey. Uh, we're not all that about looks. I hope you understand that. Hello, Magashi-sama. Welcome in. Good to see you. How's your day? Your kitchen, do not... What? what? Oh, you have to go in as a kitty cat. By the way, Snake, how is your road trip going? Did you make it to your destination? Come on, baby. Lost again. 90% chance you're going to lose. You leave tomorrow. Okie dokie. Well, safe travels. Hopefully the weather's cooperative and nice. Do I want to gamble? No. I know it's been really nice here the last few days. It's definitely spring. Our crocuses are up. We've got other flowers that are starting to bloom and pop up. All right, so he's a jerk. 
Got a doggy. Doesn't let me open any of this, right? No. That's oh, good. I uh, just got back a bit from John Wick 4. Great stuff. How was the movie? I'll be honest, I'm pretty sure I've seen at least one of them, and I don't remember. <laughs> other than uh, Keanu Reeves being, you know, dramatic and beautiful, as he always is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's a vampire. The man does not age. Uh, I'm a big fan of the series. Sweet. No, I don't want to stay. Why would I stay? Uh, I rewatched the previous three yesterday and today before going to see it. That's probably a good idea to remember. I saw, um, what was it? The new superhero movie. Um, what the heck was it called? Isn't that bad that I don't remember what the heck it was called? Uh, Shazam. Shazam 2. Um, it was okay. I'm Lanky Lank. And I'm Stout. Shake it. And enjoy our show. What are they doing? Are they just slapping each other? Yep. What a show. What kind of show is this? I know. <laughs> uh, what kind of show can you really expect in a crummy bar? I know. Yeah, it was okay. I honestly, I have yet to really find um, a DC movie I've I've like raved about and enjoyed. Marvel is always a mixture. Some are really great. Some are not so great. But DC has never really impressed me. All right, so that's where we need to get Janice is through the Grand Slam. Too painful to say. Of course it's the humans. Humans suck. It's always the humans. Uh, it's a fine comedy romp, but I didn't think it was worth wa watching in the theater. Yeah, it was okay. Like I said, I gave it like a 4 or 5 out of 10. It was alright. Uh, Squid says I really liked Wonder Woman Aqua Woman. They were okay. I don't know. I... I guess... To me, I felt like Wonder Woman, they kind of crossed like the Linda Carter vibe with more of like a Xena warrior princess vibe. Um, she was very violent. And to me, it just it was interesting to see Wonder Woman so violent. Uh, Magashi Sama says, I think DC's best movie so far from the current generation was the director's cut of Justice League. I don't know if I saw that one. I don't know if I saw that one. I think DC tries to do interesting things, but they don't always nail it. That sounds accurate. So I think I need to try gambling at least once. Marvel feels more repetitive to me, but their baseline more entertaining. It, the other yeah, repetitive. I'm pretty sure a lot of money goes into um, Marvel superhero movies that is propaganda from the US military, so they probably got a formula that they need to follow. Death? We lost all our points. Unfortunate. I love all the Marvel stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of good Marvel stuff. So I'm literally lost. How did I get through this part of the game before? Let's look it up. Come on, internet. Do your thing. Da, 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 da. Did you watch the show? He didn't let me become a cat. I know, it's it's really cool you get to become a cat, but he didn't turn me into a cat. It was the Salt Brothers. Is he ready to perform now? Has it changed? Because when I was in here, it was these two smacking each other. Oh, it has changed. Okay. Alright, so it's another show. Do I go back in? Is it Snaff? One more. Hello. 
Nope. Alright, uh, Chrono Cross. I wish I could remember, I just did this a little bit ago, but I don't remember. No, I don't think I saw them betting. We got Van, yes, we got Norris, we got those guys. We didn't get Draggy, but that's okay. We got Starkey. Did all those things. <laughs> all right, get on this Elvis, got it. There's the Gamba, got it. Do, 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 do. Oh, I guess we got to talk to the dude, maybe? Okay. Okay. Let's go talk to the dude. Do, 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 do. do. Oop, that's the end. Yamba's upstairs. All right. You cheats. I think I got to talk to this dude over here. Come on, baby! Lost again. Oh, maybe not. No, that's not doing it either. Hey, Chris! How was? I'm cold and tired at work. Oh, no! How much longer until you're done? Your day is hopefully over soon. No, that didn't do anything. We have to sleep here? Stop Fargo from cheating. No. Maybe I actually have to win a game? Cause that's not it. Alright, let's go see... Is this guy... Upstairs? Doing sneaky stuff? Nope, he's right here. Okay. Three more hours. Had to come in an hour early? Oh dear. Yeah, I just got done with work myself about... Two hours ago? Maybe I just need to win. You doubled your points. Okay. You doubled your points. Okay. Hi, Moni. Hello. Welcome on in. Good to see you. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite members of the uh, Paperclip Book Club. Good to see you. How's your day going? Do you want to exchange for a prize? Sure. We got a bone. All right. I got a thing. Got a thing. Uh, I'm lurking while I play MHT. What's MHT? Wow, six comms, Chris. I'm going to give you another one to top you off, to give you a hundred. Monster Hunter, I'm guessing. Hello, ghost. I don't think you're banned. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that again. <laughs> You're not banned, yay. Alright, so that dude's still chilling there. Ok. 
Okay. Yo, Fargo. Do you want to gamble with me? Alright, that didn't do anything. Do I need to actually have Fargo with me? Do I have Fargo? Oh my gosh. Apparently Ubu is considered <laughs> swearing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Twitch. What are you feeling? Why are you so wild? Everybody's renamed my characters. I don't know who any of them are. Uh, it's like how Twitch didn't like the term waifu. Really? Really? <laughs> Why are these things banned? Apparently it is all the ubu daddies. Sounds like Twitch doesn't like the weebs, y'all. All right, maybe if I sleep. No. Okay. Bam, bam, ba, na, na, na. Lights been because I have sensors turned off. I don't know. All right, so that's the same dialogue. They go in the casino. See, so same three people. Come on, baby. Well, all these two are like the same guys, just one's a round hat. This guy's got a green hat. They're like the same people. Alright, this isn't helping. This doesn't do anything. What if I say... Play what? Okay, he's showing me how to play. And if the pointer stops on south, everybody loses. Oh my god, shoes. $437. Okay. Perfect! Farming those comms from the bots. Beautiful. These two. Okay. So I'm evidently missing a thing. Go to Marvel. See now. It wouldn't let me go there. Did those. Nice. Okay. Did that. Did that. No, not to do they. Not a dovey. The room is very cozy, Ubu. Thank you. I'm glad you're feeling cozy. Let's give a calm preemptively to the lovely red mage dovey. <laughs> I want to do the grand slam. Is it because I'm a giant pee-pee? 
Is that why? No? Oh, oh, there you go. There you go. Poor plunge. <laughs> need to talk to these people look at this poor character they didn't even render her they just left her as part of the backdrop it's so sad <laughs> I'm forbidden to talk to the passengers well that's rude I don't want to go back to work. I don't want you to go back to work either, Chris. Okay, what's this dude? So what do I do? Do I need to just spend my day gambling? Yay, I appreciate your look. Oh, let me move my mouse. Oh, RIP. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. I'm pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to be. And Fargo won't let me, won't do anything? He just does the same thing. So, I'm confused then. So, you go to the SS Elvis. You'll see Mickey. Try to cheer her up. Back in the hallway. End of the captain's quarters. Go to the casino. The trick. Yes, yes. Head east on the ladder. Enter the bar. You'll see... Through this place, proceed east. So I guess I keep going into that room until Snaff shows up. But Snaff wasn't there. It was these guys throwing swords at each other. Fat and slim. Nothing happens. Okay. Literally, nothing happens. Hmm. Don't understand. Emirin Jeru says give it to me daddy. Harder daddy. I've been such a bad girl daddy. Follow obsessive repulsive daddy. Spank me harder daddy. 
Hi, Emmy. <laughs> Hello. I don't think it's done, though. Ooh, woo, daddy. No. Nope. Kitten has been such a bad girl, daddy. <laughs> Please, daddy. Ooh, woo, harder, daddy. <laughs> I promise I will be a good girl if you follow obsessive repulsive daddy. Oh, my, Emmy. You have the mouth of a sailor. Hashtag follow obsessive now, you silly fucks. <laughs> Not calling it a hashtag. Really? <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. So supposedly we're supposed to be able to see Snuff here. It is tired. It ain't working. Wow, the uh, speed up thing doesn't work at all in that room. Yeah, I don't know why, but it's not letting me progress the story here. It's really annoying that it won't let me progress the story. Oh, it's locked. Dario and this little lady are busy. Did you see her peeking? Look at her. She was peeking at me. I saw her. She's not peeking now. She was totally peeking at me. That's rude. Somebody's home. They ain't answering the door, though. I can't lie. That's, that's kind of me at home, though. <laughs> It's <laughs> you knock on my door, I ain't answering. I don't know who you are. <laughs> Alright, well that was a bust. Um I don't know where to go. I already cleared that. Um where do I go? I think that's literally what I'm supposed to do right now, is clear this. Is there someone I'm supposed to talk to? Alright. We'll talk to everybody just to see. So I'll talk to this dude. What a life. You're a loser. This lady, she just wants to look at the ship. Okay. I'm very sorry, but I'm forbidden to speak to passengers. Then how are you going to do your job if you can't talk to us? I'm Thursday. We know. So far, this guy talks about Marbule. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. You know, Emmy's here when the bot struggles. Facts. Hi, kitty. Okay. Hello, kitty. Ooh, kitty went in the door. We can't go in there. So if I go down here... I go in the bar... It's these guys. So is this just RNG? Like... Do I just need to keep going in here until I get the one I want? No, because it's these two again. Okay, um... You won't let me through there. Okay. Oh, maybe this is what I needed to do. Just 
get that little little bit of history. Okay. That was probably what I needed. All right. Let's see what that little nugget of information does when I go see Fargo. Kind of annoying. They literally gatekeep progression on that one choice in dialogue. I talk to him. Go to the bar now. Oh, salt and pepper. Shake it. What kind of a show is this? Indeed. Okay. Here lies Daddy. R.I.P. Our beloved Daddy. No, I couldn't have died. I'm Daddy. R.I.P. Daddy. Yup. Yup. Daddy. Daddy is gone. Daddy has moved on to better things. R.I.P. Daddy. So... Did you hear that there is a free trial for Final <laughs> Fantasy XIV right Tell now? Tell us, I mean. the entirety of a realm of war, as well as the award-winning expansion of Heaven's Ward. For free, with no restrictions on playtime. Thank you, Emmy. Hi, Rav. Welcome in. That mic sounds bad compared to this new one. I know, your new one sounds so good. I've got to get you to re-record that for me. So we can get a new one. Ooh, we're getting a Cliffy shout out. Ooh, ain't you fancy. Daddy was drowned out at the ad. Mario Party! Hey. Oh. oh my god. Triple sevens. Nice. What? Why? What? 50 coins? Ain't you fancy. That was cute. This is so cute. We should do a Nintendo community game night. That would be fun. I'm stuck. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Do I need to go waste more gold? Gambling? Is that what the game wants me to do? I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. Uh, Raph had this stream on in the background a lot while we were hanging out. Oh, that's so sweet. I know, when I'm sitting here editing or doing whatever, I usually have like five to ten streams going at once in the backdrop. It gets confusing after a while, but it's fun. Alright, what if I say, play what? So he's gonna explain the rules. It's 8 30 i don't feel like cooking so snacking on some nuts well you know you gotta do what you gotta do what did you cook for lunch earlier did i miss anything i feel like i missed a chat no okay uh yes uh, if you didn't catch it uh raf the daddy command is uh is changed you get a different sound bite now. If you want the OG daddy command, you have to donate specifically 69 bitties. RIP, our beloved daddy. No, I couldn't have died. I'm daddy. <laughs> uh, do you understand the rules? Try it. I like that daddy message too. <laughs> well, I'm glad you do. That's uh, when we first realized that uh, naming your character daddy is an interesting experience. Daddy did go behind the paywall. He did. Gotta monetize that chaos to fulfill my cozy dreams. 
Quark. Oh, thank you for giving Obsessive a follow- a uh, shout out, Emmy. <laughs> uh, just be careful in April. Right now he's doing Mega March, Mega Man March. Um, but April, you, you might get banned if you follow him. He's gonna try to entice everybody in to follow him, but I think it might be a trick. Yo, Fargo, give me progression, please. Please. I just want to play the game. I want to play. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I spent money in your gambling casino. I spent money at the inn. Is this a trap to get me to spend all my money? Is that what this is? Those two are just slapping each other. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Hey Kai! Just wanted to pop in, say hi, and wish you well. Thank you so much! It's good to see you, Kai. I love your emotes. They're so heckin' cute. What kind of show is this? I don't know. But it's not the one I want. I want Snap. And he won't show up. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I'm a little frustrated. How do I get this to happen? Don't make me work overtime. At least we get food. Okay. I talked to this guy. He won't let me through. Something's missing. I don't have Nikki because we did not take his path. Um, and I wouldn't have him anyway because I'm Lynx right now. And Mickey we talked to. She was hanging out here. We talked to her and then she wandered back to her ship. So what I'm supposed to do is Sneff is supposed to turn me into a cat. But Sniff won't come out of his little... to do his show. Did Fargo meet? Do I have Fargo? Do we have him? Isn't Fargo with Surge, though? I have to look at all these, because I don't know who any of them are now. I don't think we have Fargo. I think he's... This is not the cozy stream. Well, did you see uh, our newest uh, party member here uh, to go uh, with the theme here? <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's later. That's later. Just because he's two foot eleven. I know he's a cutie. He fits in the children's clothes just like um, Van does. <laughs> he does have a big head. You are correct. You are correct. Trying to think what else could be missing. Ooh, six comms. That's very good, half. Very nice. But the story won't progress. Can you saw the magnet or whatever? I think it's after you become a cat. Because I've gambled like three times here. There's supposed to be a scene where I think Fargo challenges me or something. You know what? I think I know what I got to do. I think I know what I gotta do. I think I got to go try to get into the, the Dead Sea. Maybe that's what I'm missing. Let me go try that. I don't think I've tried that. Let's go try that and see what happens. Nope, I did do that. Okay. 
Never mind. Never mind, I did do that. And they were like, oh, the Islanders blocking our way. Maybe we need to go here? No, this is too early. I don't think we go here yet. No, we can't go there yet. SS is Elvis. Mod love. Don't think it's other world. It says from here I'm supposed to investigate voices during the night. I guess we can check out Marbule. There is something in this guide about Marbule. So we'll go to Marbule again. I don't think there's anything there, but we'll go. We'll go. Stay the night, see what happens. Guess I didn't talk to all these people. Okay. Here's Toma. Ask about this village. Yes. Thank you. Oh. So he tells us about the ship. Maybe this is what I didn't do. The store. Thank you, Toma. Oh, tell me about the ship. Okay. What are these monsters? Nothing you can do. What's new? Okay. So I did not do that. That's probably what I needed to do. I hope. All right. And they said something about taking a nap. You hear voices outside. Should I go back to sleep or check it out? We're going to check that out. Of course. Oh, actually, I don't remember doing this last time I played. Did I do this? Oh. What are you doing up at this hour? Chasing mermaids, obviously. A mermaid? A homecoming, maybe? Oh, you say she was crying. Hmm. A mermaid returns in the middle of the night crying. Actually, it could possibly be that mermaid who lost her singing voice. Mermaids are known to have beautiful voices and to sing about love and happiness. But mermaids are forbidden to sing songs about holding grudges against humans. If a mermaid breaks the taboo, she will lose her singing voice. I don't blame her, though. Who wouldn't hold a grudge after all she's been going through? You're heading to the Zelbus tomorrow, right? You should get some sleep. Oh, and don't forget to give your regards to Captain Fargo when you get there. He can be devious, so keep an eye on him. He certainly is. No, no mer daddies in this game. Isn't that sad? The cruise ship is the Silpis Fargo. I totally did not do that scene last time I played this game, but oh well. Excuse me, son of man. Will you be boarding the Silpis? Take me with you. Let us go. What's that? That's a mermaid, yo. Not a mer daddy. She's a mer mommy. Did she come with us? I don't see her. All right. Can I go do the thing now? Let's name her mer daddy though. <laughs> All right, squid. We will name her mer daddy. <laughs> that seems appropriate. Okay, is Snef finally here? Is he doing his thing? He is! 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sniff's Fantastic Maggot Show. Is there anyone in the audience who would like to volunteer for this next trick? How about you, young lady? Who, me? Well, it does seem like fun, but you're not going to slice me in two or stick knives into me, are you? Nothing to worry about, young lady. I had to run around. What'd you do? I had to go to Marbule and talk to Toma. The explorer. Apparently, that was a necessary requirement to get Sneff to appear. Drawing good hands with Sneff. Now, please step up to the stage. Here goes nothing. Now, what's your name? Jill. Well, let's start off with something simple. Jill, you're walking, going to walk on air. You're feeling lighter, Jill. Very light. One, two, three. Eee. And now for the main event. Jill, you will now become a chair. You'll be able to withstand any weight. One, two, three. <laughs> See? No strings. Should she even able to support a fetcher like him? Okay, then it's about time we brought Jill back. One, two, three. So, how was it, Jill? Um, felt like I had no control over my body, but it didn't hurt one bit. It was very strange. Thank you very much for your assistance. You're a phony. You and her probably had this all planned out. You don't believe in magic? Looks like I have something to prove to you. Step up to the stage. Sure, go ahead and do what you want. I know there's a trick. You're a real rive wire. What's your name? It's Jack. Well then, Jack, seeing as you seem so impatient to see some real magic, here's one of my favorites. I'll turn you into a cat. I call it... Catamorphosis. One, two, three. He's a kitty. What do you think? Don't be afraid. I'll change you back to normal. <laughs> Sniff Sean Connery. <laughs> nice. Three. Do you believe in me now, Jack? Thank you very much for your assistance. Hope everyone enjoyed the show. That's it for me today. Till next time. Well. He did. He turned that man into a cat. You better watch out for that man. Alright. Let me go down here. Nope. Let's go talk to Fargo. Da, 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 da. There she is. It's been quite some time, Irene. You've grown up. Fargo, you have not changed at all. You're still drowning in the memories of the past. What would you know? I lost everything when I lost Selbus. That is untrue. My sister left hope. A treasure that may one day bring humans and demi-humans together. You mean Nikki? Yes, and his sister, Marcy. Oh, I forgot. Marcy is Nikki's sister. That's right. And they're the children of mermaids. That's cool. That child died when Zalbis, with Zalbis when Lucia. You do not know anything, do you? Or you refuse to know. You only remember that of the past. Which is favorable for you. Lucia tried to save my sister Zelbis. But she was only able to save the baby Marcy. Lucia felt responsible and has supported Marcy from a distance throughout her life. So that really explains why Marcy is really powerful. She is a child, but she's like one of the devas of the dragoons. So it makes sense because she's a, a half demi-human mermaid. You should have them meet. Okay. 
we'll have to do it on the third run though because uh we don't have nikki on the second run could you know where is the audio and the passion and desire to build the world with my sister i told you the old me is dead now what do you want i don't need to be lectured by you understood let me get to the point you have taken away the song of the demi humans in other words we would like you to free the stage i see but why you know that song too don't you do not feign ignorance fargo you should know better only when the song is sung by one of special power can the fix be brought into full play my sister zelbis is dead and you have taken away the stage marbio no longer has its true power without that song Marby is now a nesting ground for evil dream spirits. Interesting. So what? I don't want outsiders in Marbio. That suits me just fine. How much longer are you going to be stubborn? The Marbio you once knew is no longer there. You'll only find a nightmare. Open your eyes to reality. I'm not realizing the sage. No matter what you say. Releasing the sage no matter what you say. Fine. I will not beseech you. Do not give up on the restoration of my bill. I will contribute to strive to make my sister's dreams come true. Dot dot dot. Such drama on this cruise ship. Oh, the ship's mine. Everything's fine. Everything's cozy, she. Don't believe it. Snef is great great granddaddy. <laughs> Snef's posture definitely is that of a great 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 granddaddy. <laughs> Uh, okay. So we did the bar scene. Saw Fargo. Nothing's going on there. Okay. Can I go talk to Sniff? Nope, that's upstairs. Um, if I go downstairs, there's some funny business going on over here. No. Okay. So what now? Oh, I know what I got. I gotta we'll go over here. Maybe. No? Where's the sage? It's gotta be here somewhere. There he is. Excuse me, I need to get back to work. Please let me through. Ask him about the Marbule Sage. We're looking for the Sage of Marbule. Do you know anything? Hmm, don't believe he's here. Now try elsewhere. I gotta get to work to work. He's committed. To mop the floors, let me through. Oh boy, go, don't slack off. The old man used to be the leader of Mobule. Now he's down in the dumps, mopping the floors of the Zelbus. Through this door's grand slam. Okay. So now we gotta try to get permission. Hey yo, Fargo. We'd like to get through to the Grand Slam. Can't grant you access, why? Try our luck. Alright, let's do it. Don't chicken out. About time. Alright, story is progressing. <laughs> this feels better. <laughs> no, not again. Give it up, old man Snuff. You don't have to do takes. Just keep doing your shows, that's all. Snuff. One of these days, I'm gonna slap your dirty face with a wad of cash and get the hell off of these ship. Well, well, well. Look who's here. The old man has built up quite a debt from the casino. I own him. Suggest you don't let the same happen to you. You can't just own people. This Fargo is much more worse than Pirate Fargo. I don't like Capitalist Fargo. I prefer him a pirate. <laughs> he 
He's cheating. The audacity. Looks like you owe me a boat. You know, my party is full of demi-humans, so I guess it makes sense that he would think that. Okay. Caught red-handed. And the kitty cat. I love the kitty cat, it's so cute. But at the Bubs, you seen the Indies. The casino where we played Fargo. Something's fishy. If only we could move around freely like that cat. Let's go become cats! I wanna be a kitty. I wanna become a kitty cat. Turn us into kitty cats. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Schniff's Fantastic Magic Show. Oh, how about we start off with catamorphosis today? Do I have a volunteer from the audience? You folks must be known around here. Would you like to volunteer? Sure. Excellent. Please step up to the stage. Are you ready? One. Two. Three. Yay! We became kitties. He's chasing me. I didn't notice that before. He chases you. Here, kitty cats. He likes kitty. What's shaking with this cat? What's wrong with this cat? Look at their little makeup palettes. That's kind of cute in their costumes. Nope. Get out of here, scram. No. Can we talk to the dog? I don't remember. Hi, doggy. You cats have it easy. You're free to move about and do your own thing. It ain't easy being loyal, you know. Woof. I guess my master ain't all that bad. Woof. Guess I should consider myself a lucky dog. <laughs> oh, you're a feline face, meow. That manners for being paying respects to me, meow. I like you, meow. Stay as long as you like, meow. This ship belongs to me, myself, and I, meow. La la la. I don't need a recipe book, because I'm the happy cook with the skills and the hot, hot look. Let's go. Got a frying pan. Is there another kitty in here? I don't remember. No. Okay. But I do think as kitty cats, we can cross this divide over here. Sure can. we show up in the mirror as cats? We do! Look, we're in the mirror. That's cute. Meow, meow, meow! Meow, meow, meow! <laughs> it's the simple things. Song of Demi-Humans. I've heard rumors about it, but does it really exist? Song can save Marpule, right? 
Yes. Only one of may know about the true powers of this song may be the sage. Her Fargo knowing so could not return the song, or rather the sage. Would it make sense if the sage just sang the song? The sage is no longer able, physically able to sing. He is much too old for this. Cast endured such labors, only you can sing this song. Will I be able to perform such an important song? Yes, of course, for you are... Oh, it is nothing. In any case, there is nothing to worry about. We will not put... Fine. Seem to feel really strongly about it. Plus, I want to know more about the song. Tranquil, I am glad you accept. I believe the sage can be found. Cheese. Cheese. Oh my god, cheese. $958. Wow. Raph coming in with some bougie, bougie shoes. Job, I don't have. <laughs> Your joy at cat power is adorable. I love being a kitty cat. We should have the option of playing the rest of this game as kitties. I would be so happy. Yeah, I haven't played Stray yet. You'd think I would have by now. Are you without a family? Oh, then you're just like me. <laughs> That's so sad. Yes, Kelly is the only one that matters. Facts, Raph. Facts. There's Mickey getting her groove on. They remind me of the girls in the Honey Bee Inn. Can't you see I'm busy? You're never too busy to pet kitty cats. That's mean. That's mean. 99% chaotic? Raph, is that even possible to be 99% chaotic? 25% cozy. Snake's feeling 89% cozy. I love that. It is, trust me. Your stream sure seems to think so. Evidently. All right, let's go catch this fool. Cheating. It's cheating, lion. Capitalist. Pirates are better. I was a gentle man. Oh. Le blush, le blush. <laughs> Hey, 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 pop shot it again. I'm in ads. Raph is in the ads. He can't hear a word or my songs. Poor Raph is stuck in the ads. Can't hear nothing while he's in ads. That poor thing is stuck. It's stuck with ads. Oh! Well then. No more ads for you, Raph. You were just gifted a subby by Snake. Thank you. I want to talk about chaos. <laughs> I was singing you a little song about your ad dilemma. Apparently my song was so bad that that snake decided, no, nope, we better stop this. We better stop this. <laughs> okay, I'm out of ads. <laughs> uh, so Raph, I don't know if I've shared with you. Um, I think you're in my discord, but in case you're not, I'll link a linky link right there. Um, you get access to my emotes, you get access obviously to ad fee viewing, and a perk uh, for being a subscriber is you'll have access to the sub only area in my discord as long as your accounts are connected. I, with the exception of the newest book, I have all of the 5th edition books on dndbeyond.com in my account. If you create a character in our community servers uh, campaign, you will have access to all of the character creation options that D&D Beyond 5th Edition 
has at the moment that is published. So please feel free to go use that benefit if you're into D&D and want to make a new character. Do I need to talk to him first or do I need to be human first? Let's find out. Hey, yo. Got a handle. Doesn't matter. Okay. We gotta be humans. Okay. Back to Sniff. Hello, Sniff. Oh. Okay. Performers only, but I'm a cat. How do we get back on the stage then? We can't change back. Can't let you go wandering wherever you please. Taste, Taste the, the biscuit. biscuit. Taste the goodness of the biscuit. Taste the honey sauce. Taste the goodness of the biscuit with the honey sauce. Get that honey sauce on me. I don't like the way it mixes with my mac and cheese. Taste the biscuit. Taste the goodness of the biscuit. Yes. I love that song. It's so good. You can also check your biscuit levels. See how much you're enjoying the goodness of the biscuit with the honey sauce. I feel like I'm stuck as a kitty cat. How do I stop being a cat? We got the handle. How do I get? Oh, here's a little door. Okay. Hey, yo. Get me worried, shit. I had to lie down a bit because I strained my back running. Finally, I'm able to stand up. Oh, I'm not 100% better, but I think I can change you back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sniff's Fantastic Magic Show. Oh, I have to start off with something like that to concentrate. Hard of it. Here we go. One, two, three. Yay. Phew, that should load up my shoulders. Better stop using that magic. Listen, I'm very sorry to put up with being a cat. If there's anything I can do, I'll make it up. Due to circumstances, I'm forced to stay on a ship. Yay. Oh no, Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Sherry. 26%. Alright, alright. That's not so bad. We could see that improved, but, you know, it is what it is. Bump, bump, ba -da -dum. All right. Hey, Mr. Capitalist. Can't allow you to go to the Grand Slam. Yes, alright. We've seen this already. Yep, 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 yep. He's your daddy. We know. Father, I. He's disappointed that his dad son turned out to be a drag queen. I hate him even more. Why can I not? Why does this not do anything? Huh? Alright, I guess we challenge him. Guess we just play. Okay. Do 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 do.
Impossible. Thanks. You jerk. All right, we finally got what we need. So we can go down and do the Grand Slam. We can try to get the character we have not been able to unlock yet. Welcome, Iron Man. Uh, Sunny, you have a Tonberry coming for you, friend. Boop, 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 boop. Ooh. He's just playing with me. I'm busy. I have no choice but to pummel it from you. I was probably putting the little one down and is lurking. I don't think it was intentional, I mean. Here lies Daddy. R.I.P. Our beloved Daddy. R.I.P. Daddy. died on Daddy. Holy heck. Oh no, didn't work. Um, this will forever zero. Kaboom. That's a really pretty move. 619, let's go. 71 stars. Hmm. Big PP received the Fiddler Crab. Blah 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 They are talking about a song and he's gonna play it and he better go pay attention. Alright. So what is the strategy to getting Janice? What does it say? I recommend you do this later as grandson requires capturing enemies. Many enemies for them. Refer to the corresponding page of this guide for more information. What's the corresponding page? I don't see no corresponding page. Extras? Grand Slam. Okay. I mean, I've had the Forget Me not pot on, so I might as well do some of it. There are three fights with a three on three monsters. You can't reuse the same monsters more once per fight. Balance team of nine monsters. Actually, when you receive. Okay. You have to do three battles. Uh, In the matter of any reason. Oh, you could cheat. That's no, we're not going to cheat. Okay. All right. So we just got to get through three battles. That should be doable. But look at these poor characters. They did not do them justice. They're not even rendered in 3D. <laughs> they just blended with the background. <laughs> That's so sad. Oh, yeah. Give it to me, baby. Uh-uh, uh-huh. Right on. Yeah, book punch. You can do it. 
Ooh, I can't get enough of those ferocious claws. The cry of victory makes me tingle. These people are awful. Yeah, finish them. Oh, come on, what are you doing? I gave everything riding on you. Why does my monster always lose? Am I not feeding it right? Not enough tender loving care? You got Big PP. you can do it. No, Big PP is not a monster. Although, look at this dude in the afro, jiggling along. He's so cool. <laughs> He's just dancing. <laughs> they all have afros. That's cute, actually. <laughs> Our slogan, fight with might and believe the hype. It's time to get it on. We have a new challenger. Let's see what our new contestant can do. Woohoo! Don't take me too lightly. Okay. Look at all the monsters we got. Should we bring Emmy along? Total chaos. Something looks wrong about Sand Squirt. <laughs> Lagoonit's OP. Okay, we'll bring Lagoonit. Beba. The Beba's cute. We'll go with that. Sure. And a sergeant. Sure. How is that considered a monster? Interesting. Looks like he's gonna pee pee his pants. Maybe. Welcome, Iron Man. There's no E on welcome. Did you see that sign? <laughs> He just gets threes. How Biba? Biba beats Biba. Biba kills Biba. We'll consider the military monsters. Yeah, this is true. This is true. Hey, Mirig! Fastest beard on the East Coast. Welcome on in. Just getting some advice uh, from Mirig earlier on um, retro hardware, because I'm interested in figuring out how to get my OG PlayStation and PlayStation 2 for stream. I was seeing what setup he uses. There's no need to donate, but I will just throw it up there. If you didn't know, I created a throne and a couple of those items on it. Good to see you, Merrick. How's your evening going? The seventh of his name. Yes. <laughs> it's not quite hot tub stream material like an Easley's uh... <laughs> throne. <laughs> that still makes me laugh so hard. <laughs> Wow, this poor Acacia Sergeant sucks. Alright, element, aqua ball. I did see the crash, it was there. It was very sad. Yep, easily is uh, speedrunning Final Fantasy IX. Can we get a shout out, Emmy, for Easley? Easley is a heckin' good person. Doing well, just deciding what to do with future content. Ooh, what are uh, what are some of your brainstorm ideas, friend? I'm curious to hear what your thoughts are, what you want to do. Did we get a clippy? Get on the Hydra's back! Let me ride the butt! <laughs> what we're gonna do here now is we're going to use this instead. 
And we're gonna do this to Oh, this. that's Final Fantasy IX. Uh, why not? Uh, hello, <laughs> the next best American. I just saw record. which emote that welcome is. Welcome on in. Welcome <laughs> on in. Get you a welcome. I love it. I love it. I love that one. There we go. Uh, the next best American record says, I want to get this game pretty bad, but I'm afraid it will be difficult since it's an old style RPG. I haven't played any of the PS1 gen RPGs, actually. It's a good game. It's a good game. Um, I'm sure there are other uh, PS1 era uh, RPGs that are out there that you could try, but I've really loved the pixel remastered version of this game, of this particular game. It's been really good. Let's heal the Biba. Why not? Um, negate physical. Sure. Sure. But welcome on in. It's good to see you. What are some of the games that you do like to play? Curious to hear. I'm big into all sorts of RPGs, ranging from tabletop to D&D, &D, uh, Final Fantasy, all sorts of things. Look, welcome. Welcome, Iron Man. <laughs> hey, not bad. How about some of this? Okay. Who's next? Um, let's go with a Fossicker and that guy and let's bring Emmy. We'll bring Total Chaos. Oh my gosh, the Fossicker has 999 HP. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Look at all those weird skills. All right, we'll do an earthquake. Yeah, not very good damage, but that's okay. Come on, Daffy Dwarf. What else can you have? What do you have in your grid? Thunderstorm, Electro Bolt, Electro Bolt, Electro Bolt, Electro Jolt. Well, you are a one trick pony. Oh, it's a little bit better, actually, in terms of damage. All right, Emmy, let's go. Good job. Oh, he has all black skills. I uh, just finished playing Persona 3, 4, 5, really into discovering more RPGs. It's really my comfort zone, I guess. I have played Persona 5, not the Royal version, but I have played Persona 5. I really liked it. I kind of liked how they combined the, um, the slice of life vibes with the RPG vibes. So you had like classes and stuff you had to take and relationships you had to build. I really like that part of Persona, but I've not really gotten into them. But if you're into Persona, any of the Final Fantasies would be good to check out. Same with this this game, Chrono Cross. Chrono Cross is a sequel to Chrono Trigger, which was a Super Nintendo game. Yeah, hitting me. You guys are mean. Um, lower that defense. Sure. PA five is really cozy. 
Yeah, we also do, um, I don't know if you're into D&D. &D. I'll put my schedule for you if you want to check it out. On Wednesday evening, so last night, we have D&D. Uh, &D. So we're doing what's called the Frog Pond Academy. And it's a cozy slice of life D&D campaign. Uh, everybody is a first level character in their first year at a magical academy. Super heckin' cozy. Super heckin' cozy. We were racing frogs last night. It was fun. <laughs> Black hole. Yes. Whee! Into the hole they go. <laughs> Korak pooping in his shell is cozy. It sure is. It sure is. <laughs> Oh no, I'm scared. My clips are either cozy or chaotic. Perhaps don't knock it until you try it. Perhaps this dog can be housebroken. <laughs> it's the clip! Thank you we're housebreaking Clunch now, is that what we're doing? Apparently. Goodness. I mean, he does have a couple accidents in his shell, but that doesn't mean he needs to be You guys are, you guys are really, really upset. about accidental. <laughs> <laughs> It is purposeful, I'd say. God, I'm, I'm surrounded by scat fetishes. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a good sampling right there of the cozy chaos that is the Frog Pond Academy. <laughs> oh, that was great, Emmy. That was absolutely perfect. Perfect. Proof of D&D. Yep. Yeah, I never know what I'm going to get in terms of clips. I have many, many different things that happen. Welcome, Iron Man. Alright, take it out. Come on, Emmy. Take out this robot. Oh, you're not doing any damage. Thank you so much for the follow. Yes, we do have anonymous follows uh, to try to prevent some obnoxious raid stuff from happening, but appreciate it. Wah, wah, wah. He doesn't have anything else he can do. He can do this. That did nothing. What do you have? Hell Soul 5. Can I just take your soul? Miss. Nope. He tried. Alright. Guess we're just gonna attack? This robot is annoying. Really, nothing I can do. None of these abilities do much. And he's gone. Oh. He doesn't have anything else, does he? Oh! We'll seal elements. Why not? That'll do something. There. Now we can just attack. And he's dead. Hey, I sealed that. How are you able to do things? Oh, it didn't actually go off. Okay. Nope. Nope, that did a thing. Am I about to get my butt kicked? I'm dead. Well, RIP, y'all. That apparently was not the dream team. The good guys always win. Let's try again. All right. So this 
guy, does it tell me what are some good groups? Not really. Doppelgangs? Nobody's filled that guide out yet. Well, heck. Okay. We'll figure this out. Um, I'm saying what all of these are. I feel like there's some creatures that I don't have here. Thank you. Fat burglar. Do I have any more daddies I can add to this party? There we go. Here's my daddy party. We'll try a party of daddies and see what that does. Welcome, Iron Man. So her group is the same makeup. Okay. That didn't do much, but okay. Ow. Their elemental attacks suck. Can I just get your soul removed? That would be cool. Yes! <laughs> Alright, okay. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. I'm gonna punch you. Punch, punch, punch. Goodbye. All right, punch. Punch, punch. Hellbound. Didn't seem to do anything. Punch, punch, punch. Okay. Cross the bones. Bam. There we go. All right. Battle one's done. Battle two. So the Lagoonet was like super awesome. There's nothing down here, right? No. Okay. Let's bring combat. Ooh, the Portal Geist was actually a pretty cool monster. Maybe I'll bring that guy. Biba. Um, let's go with that. Okay. Wow, he's really strong.
So this is just for kicks and multi-chain attack. Okay. Let's use that. 283 damage. Not bad. So deadbeat is pretty useless, it looks like. Yeah, that's 40. It's not awful. Has no elements. I'm surprised. What about combat? What do you do? 73, 49. Good seal. Wonder what the level 8 skill is, though. It's turning us all blue. Alright, combat. Let's see. I want to see what your level 8 does. Ow. Shifts your status on an enemy. Okay, that does nothing. So let's seal elements. It'll lick you. It's so creepy. I don't like it. <laughs> no. Operated boy sitting on a shelf. Always out to die. That is just like God. Ah, uh, coin. Operated boy. Hi, EJ. <laughs> Welcome in, EJ. <laughs> Much love to you, friend. I hope you're having a good night. <laughs> Thanks for dropping in. <laughs> well, I think he killed my bat. Rude. Rude. I'll punch you with my little skull tongue. Me. This bot is obnoxious. He's a tank. Okay. Punch. How's stream going, baby? It's going good. It's going good. I uh, got really frustrated earlier because the story would not progress and I couldn't figure out why. Straya. Hi, Shane. <laughs> but we figured it out, and now we're trying to get Janice, uh, the character I wasn't able to get before. Yes, give all the love to Shane. Shane with the Y is so heckin' great. Uh, if you are a D-Gen Hour uh, enjoyer, Shane is usually up. Um, so I'm Eastern. I usually see Shane's live notices go around like, you know, 4 a.m., 5 a.m. <laughs> if you're one of them D-Gen people, keep an eye out for Shane, because Shane's over in Australia. Hey Shane, we both on late. <laughs> I don't think it's late for Shane. <laughs> this thing is not dying. I hate it. Why will you not die? Just die. I hate you. Okay, you can beat the earth. I get it. Just go away. Guess I should have been focusing all my attacks on it. It's obnoxious. It's like 9 p.m. for me when I go live. Yeah. Oh, am I dead? R.I.P. Well, that didn't work out. I need help. <laughs> Game facts. Here we go. Here we go. Chrono across. Help me, please. I need your help, Internet. Um, What is this called? 
Grand Slam? Doppelgang? No. Can only stream after bedtime. So you get bedtime lurking for real, but e love ya. Love you too. Have a good night, EJ. Exactly. You gotta wait for the kids to go to bed. That's right. The parents get it. The parents in the stream get it. I've got a lot of parents in my stream lately. I love that. So we need... Can I just Google Grand Slam? Here lies Daddy. R.I.P. Our beloved Daddy. No, I couldn't have died. I'm Daddy. R.I.P. R.I.P. Daddy. That's right. How do I get this? Doppelgang. Okay. Uh, okay. Get those balls, Emmy. Hmm. This doesn't really help me. So what are the best creatures for Grand Slam in Chrono Cross? Google, help me. Wraith, Snip Goblin, Snow. Okay, we're going to go with whatever that Google thing says. Because clearly what I'm trying ain't working. So you're saying I should do a Wraith, Snip, and Snob. I fought a Wraith? I have fought a Wraith. Thank you for the follow. We have anonymous follows, but if you'd like to introduce yourself. <laughs> Thank you, Shane, the air horn. I don't think Evie's actually used that since she requested that sound alert. Thank you. Um, if you'd like to introduce yourself, I would love to get to know you, but there is no need to. If you would like to just enjoy your lurk, enjoy your lurk. Um, so snip and snob. Snob and snip. So that means we are one follow away from 300? Holy heck. That's amazing. Uh, hello, little python. Not much to say about myself except I'd like to help people when I can. That is great. That is a value we love in our stream. For sure. 420 HP. <laughs> You would notice that, Raph. Oh my goodness. Yes, the Wraith has 420 HP. <laughs> I know, today was funny because I um I was scheduling appointments with folks. Uh, and I have folks I see on Thursdays. And I was like, well, that Thursday looks like is April the 20th. <laughs> like, oh no. <laughs> they might not show up. We'll see. <laughs> what do you mean? I just know. I just know you would see that. Oh, he's got a little heal. That's cute. Let's heal us. Ow, it did damage to the Wraith. <laughs> the Wraith does not like healing. <laughs> he's allergic. Can he steal your soul? Yes, he stole the soul. I can't even smoke because I don't even know how. I'm innocent in all this. Okay, round two. You're saying Lagunit, Cross, 
bones and bulb. So bulb. Lagoonet. And crossbones. Okay. So this time I'm going to try to remember to target the tank. Target the tank. So, Mr. Bulb, target the tank. Punch it with your whatever that is. Oh, is he dead? Oh, he's not dead, but he's frozen. Okay. Burr. Healing would be worthless, wouldn't it? We'll just do that. All right, crossbones. I wonder if crossbones can try to steal his soul. We'll try it. Does he have that ability? Shoes. Shoes. Oh my god, shoes. Let's get some shoes. Let's party. Please let this work. I'm so tired of dying. It did not. Shame. 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 <laughs> Shame. You know it's funny, Shane. Whenever, Shame. Uh, whenever you haven't been able to pop into stream, a lot of chat tries to play that um, particular soundbite to see if they can summon you. It's kind of your official, unofficial uh, sound. It makes me laugh. Kitty Koala! <laughs> Australia up in the house tonight! Hello! Speaking of another streamer who represents Cozy Chaos, Kitty Koala is awesome, y'all. Give her a follow. You will not be disappointed. Another Australia entrance. Yes. <laughs> it's now the generic Australian streamer entrance sound alert. <laughs> Thank you for the shouties. No problem, Kitty Koala. You deserve it. Were you streaming tonight? Were you doing some Jackbox? We did Jackbox from my birthday. It's corn. A big lump of nubs. It has the juice. It has the juice. It's corn. Everything changes with butter. Facts. Facts. Yeah, I did a Jackbox stream from my birthday last year. We played the newest one because it literally came out on my birthday. That was really fun. It was really fun. Okay. Bam. Bam. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay. Try this one. Uh, we have Friday Friend Days, always community games. I love that, Koala. It's not dead. It won't die. <laughs> Why won't you just stop? I lick the lurkers, though so thanks for the tasty treat. <laughs> I love that. That's cute. Licking the lurkers. Sword dance. That's probably not going to do much, but... It did two damage. So I could cheat. R.I.P. Our beloved daddy. R.I.P. Daddy. No, I couldn't have died. I'm daddy. Yep. 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 R.I.P. Daddy. I'm frozen. I can't move. So I have two things I can do here. One is I can give up until I get some stronger monsters. 
or <laughs> we can use god mode and just ruin this game. Part of me wants to do god mode, <laughs> but I think it's frustrating. Oh, I just want Janice. But you know what? We still have a whole nother new game plus to do. So we can come back in the next playthrough to try to get her. But it's really heckin' annoying. I really want her. Uh, the rule is if you lick it's yours. So I lick the lickers and then I can keep them. Oh, oh. Oh, that's cute. Uh, yes, yeah, Shane is daddy today. He rolled 99%. It was 100% Shane. Let's go. Let's get a hype in the chat for Shane. 100% daddy Shane up in here. Holy heck. <laughs> and you came here. You came to grace us with your daddiness to this getting all the daddies run of Chrono Cross. I feel so honored. You know, I don't even know how to, is this God mode? Is this God mode? What's God mode? I don't even know what God mode is. Is it that? I must throw some daddy energy upon you. Now I can buy more soap. Now I can buy more soap. Thank you for the daddy energy biddies. Appreciate you. But if you're hoping to get the daddy energy uh, uh, sound effect, it is specifically 69 biddies. Specifically. <laughs> and yes, uh, yes, it does have text to speech. <laughs> In case uh, you need more text to speech options, uh, it is there for your pleasure. This chair hates me. There we go. So, mm, I could do a vote. I could do a vote. Let's do a vote. Uh, manage a poll, new poll, do we cheese, god mode, no, you must try later. So I'm going to put up a poll here. Let's do it for three minutes. Uh, do we cheese this to get Janice, which me basically means cheating, uh, using god mode. Um, or do we do it the actual way where we take some time later to collect more baddies and uh, more stars and try to fight later? Let's let chat decide for me because <laughs> I, I could go either way. I could go either way. So I'll let your, uh, you guys handle my fate. Looks like we're neck and neck with God mode, and you must try later. Guy, need a tiebreaker. Need a tiebreaker. I feel like my phone went off. What happened? What's that button do? Shane, thank you for the What's subby. That also has a text to speech. Thank you for the resub. Yes, 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 yes. So, uh, if you didn't know Shane, uh, give you the deets, you get those emotes, ad free viewing. And of course, uh, my perk is we have a dndbeyond.com community campaign. If you create a character there, you'll have access to all the fifth edition materials uh, to create your own character. Um, there's a lot of options uh, published currently for 5th edition, so feel free to go check that out. If you need help, let me know, or let one of my mods know. They could probably help you out too. But thank you for the subby. I appreciate that. All right, looks like so far we've got three votes to try later. One vote for God Mode. We're a little more than halfway through the poll. So if you want us to God Mode and cheese our way through this, we're going to need some more votes for that. But right now, it's looking like we're going to have to try this later. Collect more baddies. It's not easy to do. I still, it still makes me laugh. This whole, um, welcome. <laughs> welcome, Iron Man. <laughs> Where is it? Do you not see it? Is it only when you do the battle? 
I guess it's only when you see the bell. Oh, there it is. See it? W E L C O M. Welcome, Iron Man. <laughs> That's so silly. It's so silly. Ooh, two votes for God Mode. Three votes for trying leader. Last chance. Last chance to vote. Do we cheese it? Or do we legit work on getting Janice? <laughs> and we're going to try later. Okie dokie. Chat has spoken. We will try later. Thank you for voting. Bow, bow, bow. Hey, yo, watch out. Big pee pee coming through. Bum, bum, ba, da, da, da. Yes, there's a Kingler in chat, y'all. If you have not got that Pokemon, he's exclamation Poke Catch. Catch that guy. Boards about. We need Fiddler Crab. We opened the door. Kingdom Hearts is light. Radius? He just followed us. What a creeper. Oh, perfect, Shane. Get those uh, comms right from the Pokemon community game. What's this evil sword Masamune doing here? Oh, it's no use. We'll not be able to proceed without going mad. Daddy, we have no choice but to withdraw for now. The path appears to be blocked by that sword. He must already be in there. The negative sentiment associated with the sword has intensified. It will be impossible to proceed without going mad. There has to be a way. The Dead Sea is right under our nose. Only the Dragon Sword, Eidlanzer, can break the seal of the Masamune. The Eidlanzer? Yes, the legendary holy sword forged by Dragonite said it's laid it to rest beside its owner Garai. He sleeps within the cavern. It pains me to disturb his eternal slumber. We have no other choice. There is this cavern. We know it today as the Isle of the Damned. It's an ordinary cave until it mutated into a nesting ground for demons. I believe this may be the result of Garai's sentiments which lingered, a negative sentiment which can the, even the holy sword could not retrain. In order to make our way in there, we will need a certain item that Garai used when he was still alive. I've stored it away in a hut where we used to train. We must go and get this item. So we gotta go to your house. Okay. Well, let's go. We've got our boat. It's this hut right here. I think. Or is it in the other world? No, it's here. Took you long. I've been waiting forever. Zarya's father, Garai, and I used to frequent this island for our training. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yep, we've seen this. Pimp Daddy. He tried to kill him. Oh, I'm supposed to follow. Okay. Oh, he's coming. All right. We got it. We happy with our group? I think so. Now we can go here and we can get these treasures. I think I'm trying to, we want to get this red thing to follow us over here, right? To get in though. 
How does this work? Hey. Do I just fight it? It's been a little while. Lynx goes first. 230. Lynx, you suck today. Kaboom. Oh, she's berserked. Poor thing. That's what that does. So we want to get this guy to follow us over here. Say hello. This way. Keep coming. Hello. This way. Come on. Come on. So that's not the button. That's auto battle. Okay. So there is an auto battle button. But it keeps your stuff up. I don't want to do that. Okay. So I what those buttons were. Got an earthquake. Okay. There's another one of those down there, isn't there? Yep. Okay. Alright, Mr. Fire Spirit. We need you to come over here. Hello? Mr. Fireman? Mr. Spirit? Do you see me? Come down here, please. Thank you. We got to go over here now. Come on. He's just a little baby. Right here. Perfect. Da da da. All right. Take these out. I assume Lynx has killed these before, but I don't remember. I think we fight them in the mansion. And we got a carapace. That's a really good item. I needed that to make, um, you know, armor weapons, I think. I, uh, not iron, um, the heck are they called? Uh, Rainbow. I think this is the right one. Nope. I don't remember which door I need. Go through here. You'd think after two playthroughs now I would have a hang of this uh, island, but I still work. I've definitely killed one of these guys. Okay. 
it's not that door. Is it this one? Yep. Okay. So it's down and then up. Perfect. This guy is unique. Do I need to fight it in the other world first? Hey, you, Mr. Fire Guy. If I fight you over here, does it do anything? Let's find out. Nope. Okay. Oh, okay, does let me fight it. Perfect. Ooh, it's called the White Knight. He looks spooky, actually. Alright, let's get... Oh, she needs to be at 5. Get her shield going. Moonshine. Just in case there's shenanigans here. He's bloodied. So we want Lynx to finish it. Make sure we get him. Almost overshot. Almost overshot that kill. That would have been bad. Got a golden tiara. What does that do? Glittering headdress increases your defensive magic. Oh, doesn't really do crap. Upset by one. Okay. But it looks like there's another one of those areas right here. Looks like we want to blow that up. Hey, Mr. Fire Guy. Down here, please. Follow me. Did you not see me? There he goes. Down here, please. Keep coming. Keep coming. Come on. Down here. Beautiful. Ba -ba -bum. Bum, bum, bum. Magma butters. They're trying. Oh, that was a mistake. You let her attack you with like that? I didn't realize a magma burst had the berserk properties. It's kind of interesting. All right. All right, we got Inferno. Beautiful. That's a good skill to have. Pimp Daddy murdered poor Garai. Yep. Yep. Oh, look. There he is. 
take this pimp daddy. Oh, that does nothing. <laughs> I got scared. Why did I get scared? It does nothing. What are you clipping at me? What did I say? I must have missed something. I don't know what you're clipping. Lunar clips. Ooh, that's a pretty skill. I like that. 846 damage. Oh, I said take that, Pimp Daddy. <laughs> I see. I see. I guess you, uh, you understood the assignment there. Here lies Daddy. R.I.P. Our beloved Daddy. No! I couldn't have died. I'm Daddy. While murdering our new friends. I see. I see. Uh, Leviathan, if you are here lurking, use exclamation Tonberry. Uh, you can send that right on its way. Okay, and he's done. Do -do -do -do. Perfect. Got the Iron Lenser. Perfect weapon for Glenn. Okay. Well, guess I'm fighting this dumb thing. I'm sorry, Emmy is stealing all your comms, everybody. She's the queen of chaos up in here. She's full of that chaos sauce. I don't remember seeing these guys in a playthrough before outside of the pirate ship. Interesting that they just spawn here. Okay. Must just be where it spawns. Okay. Don't need your help, but thank you. Thank you. There's a stage in a game called The Secret of Evermore that reminds me a lot of this zone. It's very similar. The boss you fight's really creepy. You have to kill its heart. Ugh. Icky. Alright. That's done. So we can probably pop universes real quick and do that again on the other world holy heck 300 followers let's go welcome in welcome in uh, we do have anonymous follows if you'd like to introduce yourself in chat go right ahead or if you would like to remain anonymous and just enjoy your cozy lurk you are welcome to do that as well oh i can't cross universes yet that's right i'm stuck here never mind can't do that, but welcome and thank you for helping us accomplish our goal of 300 cozy followers. Yes, Cubby TV, you are the 300th follower. That's so cool. Welcome in. Let's give you a little welcome. Uh, if you don't know me, uh, I'm a factor of change. Pronouns are he, they. Cozy uh, conspirator, sir, conspirator of cozy chaos. I like RPGs and D&D &D and all of those fun things. We talk about mental health and serious issues as well uh, when the, the time strikes that it's important to do that. 
Um, right now we're playing through Chrono Cross on our second playthrough, trying to collect all of the daddies, evidently. There's 45 characters in all. So we've got to do at least three runs to get them. And we're on round two. But welcome in. Currently our party is made up of uh, Big PP and Monami. <laughs> His chat's been giving me cursed names for all of these poor characters. Cheers. 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 Oh my god. Cheers. Let's get some shoes. Oh, there's a save right there. Yeah, Monami's not that bad. Ooh, so close to 300. So close. Go off, Lana. As well as the award-winning expansion, Heaven Sword. You can play up to level 16 for free. For free. With no restrictions on playtime. Heck yeah, Lana. Get it. Yes, yes, y'all. If you haven't heard of the wonderful, wonderful MMORPG Final Fantasy 14, it's good. It's good. I just don't have much free time. <laughs> that's true that's true it is a it is an absorber of time but we have a good time playing 14 it's a fun game pimp daddy says oh garai we will use the holy powers of einlanzer and lana kane is uh celebrating by the way tomorrow uh, her 1k? I'm gonna give her a shout out anyway. Uh, she's celebrating 1k followers on Twitch doing a subathon tomorrow around 5 Eastern. I thought it was last Friday and I was wrong. It is this Friday. So if you want to get notified for that, feel free to give her a follow. She's hiking great. Alright, we murdered the sword. Oh, did you do a clippy? So thank you everyone. I can't. I'm so excited. Um, hold on. I usually stream at 11 p.m. So glad you're on. Classic time natural frame. hair, Lana. Gotcha. What a rare delight. It's been a blast watching tonight. You are so hilarious. I'm going to head to bed. We should hang out while you're in town. Good night and happy streaming. Thank you so much, Simone. That's so sweet of you. Absolutely. Yes. Please message me on Facebook. I would love to hang out. I'll be here off and on in the Not summertime. Facebook, like, Lana. Facebook. Oh no. She's aging herself, y'all. Aging herself right there. <laughs> All right. The Dead Sea. Is there death there? You're just a Dead Sea. Oh, there's a boss here that killed me. Is it gonna still kill me? Do I need to change? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta change. That boss is really tough. I mean, I am max level, so it's probably not as tough now, but just to be safe, we're gonna get Starkey. So we're going to swap our big PP for a small PP. There's big PP. Big PP. Starkey. And right. Shockwave. Ferris, Plasma, Prism, let's put that on there, hi, okay, and let's go to the grid, Take all this off of the big PP. Fill your blanks for small PP. 
And I want to make sure... He's got... A couple things. There's... Um... So he must have it on. Negate magic he has. He has holy healing. Perfect. Perfect. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. And then... Let's make sure... Pretty has got this on. Because he's got a really nasty ability that takes out your attacks. It's really annoying. He's got two on. That's okay. That's a lot of slots. It is a lot of slots. Yes, uh, this is... Have you played Chrono Cross before, Cubby? This is a new game plus mode, so we've already beaten the game once. This is our second run. So all of the elements carry over and all of the star progression for your characters carries over. Um, so we're, we're OP. We're very much OP. And that means we get a lot of element slots. You got it from a Humble Bundle. The voice. It's a great game. It's really great. Oh, and I can probably put... Since you're kind of my healer, why don't I put the black plate on you? To nullify any of those black attacks. That was a good idea. Sometimes I think. This is part of the time crash incident. We're in the future. And this is the boss that kicked my butt last time I played. The Polis Police, I think it's called. Highwayman. Oh, wow. So if uh, JRPGs fall outside of your um, time area, what are some of the things that you do instead? Are there other games that are a little more casual that you enjoy? Cubby? Sure. Hello, I've come to blow you up. Four, six, nine. The letters on that sign were really random. And attack three. 452. That's great. Alright, let's do our moonshine to get our defenses up. Thank you, Harley. Misha Monami. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Exile, similar to Diablo. I've just been playing tabletop RPGs like Pathfinder and Magic the Gathering. Awesome. Awesome. I played Magic a lot in high school, but I have not played it in a very long time. <laughs> oh, did he get the thing? He did. It's so annoying. I hate that. Alright, let me use this blackout on small PP. Um, a lot of my friends got into Yu-Gi-Oh, too. Wasn't quite my jam. Bang, bang, bang. Uh, it's definitely evolved as a game since Commander got popular. Yeah. We are currently running on Wednesdays, um, a 5th edition Dungeons and Dragons adventure based off of, um... Strixhaven, which is a Magic the Gathering setting. I have the book here. Strixhaven, which is really fun. It's been really cool to play it. It's a four player, very into Magic. Yeah, yeah, Proxy's into it. I think Toasty is another member of the community. He's big into 
uh, magic as well. Got a lot of friends into the magic. It is an expensive hobby. <laughs> I will say that. <laughs> Keeps those local uh, neighborhood game stores uh, employed. It's always fascinating to see how many people show up for tournaments and stuff. Holy light. When Proxy moved, he got a couple grand for the cards he sold. I bet. I bet. Oh, he is falling apart. He is hating this. He's hating his life choices. I'm loving it. Get it, Lynx. Get it. Been doing a ton of Pathfinder, though, especially with the influx of people leaving D&D. Yeah. A lot of people have been interested in exploring. I did buy off of Humble Bundle the materials for second um, edition Pathfinder. I also just picked up... Give me a second, let me find it. Where did I put those books? Do <laughs> Let me switch this so you can see me better. So I picked up these three books because I want to explore them. I picked up Kids on Brooms. So Kids on Brooms is a more rules light uh, indie game published by looks like Renegade Game Studios. They took Kids on Bikes, which was a very similar uh, campaign style where it was like kind of like an 80s after school special kind of adventuring campaign. Uh, but this is kids on brooms. So you're, you know, pulling out a wand and dealing with vampires and witches and wizards. I was like, that looks really cool. So if we decide uh, at any point during a Frog Pond Academy, if we want to switch systems, this would be the perfect one that would match the vibe of what we're doing. And then I picked up Thirsty Sword Lesbians. Does that look heckin' great? <laughs> Uh, so this is a, a queer uh, tabletop RPG campaign setting uh, and system that looked really fascinating. And I picked up the sequel, uh, Advanced Lesbian Lovers and Lesbians. It gives uh, more content uh, for this book here, Thirsty Swords and Lesbians. So I'm really curious to read these and see what they're about. Um, these are produced by Evil Hat Productions, which is the same company that created uh, Fate, or at least published it. He's published it, the Fate Core. Um, I would like to maybe run a one-shot charity event uh, using maybe this system. Uh, I think that would be really fun to have like an LGBT campaign supporting some kind of an LGBT cause. Um, so yes, I'm very interested in getting getting out of D&D a little bit and trying some new things. And so here are the ones that I want to try to get into. But I do like D&D. They've just been up to no good lately with some of their shenanigans. But, you know. Asbro. <laughs> it's the problem. <laughs> their shareholder nonsense. Oh, I don't want to go that way. There's treasure to be found. Here lies Daddy. Here lies Daddy. Daddy. Our beloved Daddy. No, I couldn't have died. I'm Daddy. Well, you can fight these. R.I.P. Daddy. <laughs> have I not fought these before? I must have totally just avoided them. Alright, I killed one. Emmy, are you sad? Do you miss your daddy? Daddy spam. The art on sword lesbians looks familiar, maybe from some comic. Maybe. I don't know enough about it to uh, answer that, but it's probably possible. The art's beautiful. Okay. 
Okay. So we need to go this way. And back this way. Oops. Didn't mean to run into you, buddy, but okay. Guess we fighting. Well, we can run away, actually. I don't need to fight them. They don't give me anything. We got a screw. Small PP got a screw. It's like I have to fight that one. No? Can I move out of my way? Well, that was nice. Thank you. My audio desynced? Oh no. It's usually my camera. Is that better? Any better? I don't know. Sometimes I have to literally just restart my whole camera. These cars are interesting. Not better. Okay. We will close the camera. And we'll reopen it. It's weird because I'm... Oh, I am dropping a few frames, aren't I? Um, let me close this. That should help. Loading, loading, loading. No, it's probably me. How's that? Any better? If not, I don't have any other options, so. <laughs> oh, what did I miss? Uh, Cubby says, the thing I like best about Pathfinder is the complexity of character creation and the depth of rules systems. For most mechanics, a lot of D&D is the GM just making rules up, whereas in Pathfinder, uh, there are set rules for almost everything. Backgrounds and multi-classing dedications can lead to really cool characters. I was actually, I think I saw a tweet recently about that where someone was talking about all of the millions of options just for downtime that are written right into the system of Pathfinder. I was like, that's really cool. That's really cool that they build that in there. Mostly better. Okay. Remember this happened to you before? Yeah, it does happen to me, Ghost, but I appreciate you. Free fall, and then we fell. Yep. As I said, my machine is old. <laughs> I need to build a new one. <laughs> Gotta get Proxy's uh, expert computer building skills uh, at hand to get an upgrade. There's a treasure chest up there I'm missing. How do you get there? Is it this? Yes. Okay. Got it. Not that I needed it. Is this just a dead end? Yep. Okay. Do, do, do. Go back up and around. Mine is not old, just still crashes the first time I launch most games when cold booting and I have to reboot like every time. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> that sounds painful, Ghost. That sounds very painful. Yeah, my computer's mostly good until you start trying to tell the graphics card, hey, play this game and stream and play this video. <laughs> when you try to do all of the things, it gets a little taxing on the GPU. It runs great after a reboot. Well, good. Look at this little squirrel looking thing. It's called Robo Ducky. He's really cute. I'm sorry I have to murder you, Robo Ducky. What a cutie. 
Yeah, I try to at least shut off my machine and then start it up before I stream. That seems to help. Oh, I can change, Starkey. You don't need this anymore. Let's get you the fancy... Fancy outfit. The prism... Mail. There we go. Get your rainbow on. We got the pride party. Everybody's got their rainbow stuff. The solid state drive makes the... Yeah, I refuse to have a machine that doesn't have a solid straight solid state drive anymore. It's just not worth it. The amount of time it wastes just starting, it's obnoxious. Anytime I see like a pre-build machine, like, oh, it's got all this data storage on the machine. I'm like, yeah, but it's a hard drive. It's a hard drive. <laughs> it's not solid state. It's awful. Got our Kung Fu shoes. Uh, Cubby says, I'm also obsessed with making new characters. I plan out my characters all the way to 20. The latest one is a top vomiturge that figures out people's personal weaknesses and hurts them with that. Oh, I love that. Thematically, I'm going to make him a dominatrix. Finds out people's kinks with a whip. That's so fun. I love that. Sounds like a really good time. What's in here? Have I been here? Did I do this before? I don't remember this. I don't think we clicked this last time. Oh, it's Norris. Keyboard is happening not typing S's or typing extra ones. Promise my grammar is that bad. It's okay. All right. I still read it just fine. That sounds like fun. What, um, what tools do you use, Cubby, to plan out your characters? Do you just draw it out by hand? Or do you use, like, um... What's that website? Um, now I can't think of it. They do a podcast that I really like. What the heck is that called? What the heck is that called? Path Builder. I've seen Path Builder. Yep, Path Builder's one that's free. There's another one. It starts with a D. I don't remember. Uh, it's got a good D&D podcast on it, though. That's all I know. The Path Builder. All right. I'll have to look that one up in order to build some characters and try it out. Sergeant Daddy. What is it, sir? So many strange things happening here. The power source is still active. Do you have knowledge of electrical engineering? Can you give me a minute, sir? Not Sergeant Daddy calling me sir. Oh my gosh. Wow. Has step-by-step -step options as long as you know what you're doing. Perfect. I don't know what I'm doing, but perfect. I have been watching some videos, though, of some people introducing uh, Pathfinder to me. I'm like, oh, that's cool. That's good to hear. There, the modder should be able to display some information, sir. Ooh, that's Lavos. That be Lavos. 2300 AD, Lithosphere Investigation Report. Report 27. Unknown life force, parasitic to the planet. Geological stratum result, 65 million BC. Code? Lavos. You want Pathfinder Nexus to be a thing? Is that what I'm thinking of? Pathfinder Nexus? Use Path Builder as a character sheet when I'm playing. It's really good for tracking what spell slots you have and conditions affecting your character. So Path Builder is a little bit like um, like D&D Beyond for D&D 5e. Nexus is their version of D. Yeah, so Nexus, I think, is uh, through the company I was thinking of. Um, and it starts with a D. Demiplane. Demiplane is the company that does that. They have a really good podcast I listen to. The CEO, I think, is in the podcast. 2030 AD, you mean a ruin from the future? Sergeant Daddy, can you download more info about this world? Ah, yes. One moment, please. Slumbering deep beneath the crust when Lavos awakes, this planet will... What happened, Sergeant Daddy? What happened to the screen? The power supply has gone out. At this rate, we'll not be able to gather further information. Damn. So close to learning more about Lavos. We will not be able to find out anything from now, new from, uh, from no, new for now. Let's move on. Okay. Oh, there's a chest I see. 
I will take that. Still enclosed off through Paizo. Earring of Light. I totally missed that last time I played through. It's through Paizo and Demi playing together. Yes, yes, I've seen that advertised. Adam Bradford, I think, is the CEO. Seems like a pretty chill guy. Watch out, Ducky. I don't want to murder you. Watch out. I'm coming through. Okay, we went there. Okay. Any treasures over here? No. Okay. Oh, do I have to murder you or can I walk by you? I can walk by you. Perfect. Excuse me. Paizo's great company so far. They keep releasing new books and Nirvana to their roles. I, I've been hearing a lot of great things about Paizo since all the shenanigans went down with um, wizards. They're essentially patched in the game, kind of like an MMO would multiple times a year. That's perfect. Why wouldn't they? More material for us to enjoy. Yep, I think for me, I want to play uh, in a Pathfinder campaign as a player before I run it as a DM. I think that would help get a idea of the system as a player. I just think it would be challenging to DM a system I haven't played before, really had much exposure to. It's also got a lot of math. How do you get out of doing all the mathin'? I don't like mathin'. Okay, um, at least I know 3.5 had a ton of math in. <laughs> I played 3.5. It's the first system, D D D system I played was 3.5. Whee! Oh, they're still alive. Okay. Shoot him, small PP. Get him with the gun. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Just gotta roll, and you can even roll it in if you don't want to roll it. So you can use your, your path builder. Perfect. It does the math for you. Okay. That's not so bad then. Yeah, I don't, I don't like, I'm not good at math in my head. Like when I'm out to dinner and I've got to do a tip, you bet your booty I'm going to be <laughs> running a, uh, a, uh, a uh, calculator on my phone to figure out what the tip's gonna be. <laughs> I'm just not good at it. I'm not good at mathin'. Math is how the kids convince their parents to get them the game. True. True. Oh, the chaos must have spread from here. It's the time collapse, I think. Oh, here's a new creature. They look like the nurses from Silent Hill. Mana Queen. They're not very strong. And I remember when I was a teen, speaking of magic, um, it was in a youth center. It wasn't like a church youth center, but it was physically located in a church. And we, as the teens, all wanted to bring our magic cards to play magic together. And the director, like, freaked out. Because <laughs> she had heard, like, they were satanic or something. I'm like, no, they're just cards, lady. It was pretty funny. Dun, 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 dun. Those evil Magic the Gathering cards. I know, right? Alright, I don't think I want to go up there. Been playing Pathfinder Organized Play Through Society. Its sanctioned games are officially through Paizo and record on their website. Ooh. Usually have these games at conventions. Best part is not needing to commit to a whole campaign. Could just jump into games and play and try new characters. That sounds like fun. I did go to PAX Unplugged recently, um, down in Philly in December, 
It's my very first tabletop convention. It was a lot of fun. I had a great time. I would love to do that again next year and meet some new people to actually play some games. <laughs> I mostly just attended panels because I was socially anxious. <laughs> but the panels were great. Learned a lot of cool stuff. Sorry for the walls of text, not a worry at all. Chat's pretty slow right now. Easy to keep track of. Hey, stop it. I don't want to cuddle. Anything in these stores? Alright, watch out lady. See you come behind you. All right, we got Mithril. Oh, I just ran into her. Sorry, lady. We'll just be on our way. Excuse us. My bad. Oh, she's not going to move. Okay, well, guess we're going to have to take you out. The text on these signs is really weird. I feel like we're in a mall. <laughs> Don't be sorry. Yeah! Uh, no one has decided games at their homes are online or at local game stores. People run stuff at our local game store every week. It's great because we don't have a dedicated GM. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, it's been a learning curve for me um, as a DM running, um, what do you call it? Roll20. Learning a virtual tabletop. There, there, there's something. There's something. I did play around with, um, oh, what the heck was that system called? One multiverse, I think it was called. So it gives you more of an isometric approach, but it was really cute. It's very cartoony in style. That would be fun to run. I have Tailspire, I think it is. Um, but it seemed like it would take a lot of time to build anything in it. Boundaries amazing for Pathfinder. I've heard that before. I also have Tabletop Simulator. Tabletop Sim is fun. It is cool, but it is a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> Pick it up. Got our station passed. They have dedicated modules that have art, mechanics, and guides. Ooh. You can just use community maps, though. Sweet. Yeah, I was watching, um, it wasn't Pathfinder, but there was somebody streaming, um, who was it? It was... They just followed me. Let me find them. Joe Venom. Give Joe Venom a, a shouty. We'll try to raid in them maybe sometime next week. Uh, uh, they were playing... Oh, I didn't need my pass. Um, Dungeons and Dragons, they were doing Session Zero of a, an Academy-based campaign because they didn't care for... They tried Strixhaven and decided to kind of more homebrew things. Um, but it was really cool because they were playing on... I think it was Roll20, but they had portals. Like, the entire university setup had portals, and so they could independently, like, run around the the place without the DM having to move everybody around. Maybe it wasn't Roll20, but it was really cool, the portals they had set up. People could independently just move their characters around the university to do what they wanted. It was really heckin' cool. Alright, we got the medical book for Doc. Perfect. We'll bundle... Uh, you got, should have the foundry module for an adventure path. I think Abomination was, yes, I think it did come with that. You're right. You're correct. I'll have to look into that. 
Yeah, I, I will admit, I bought it, but I did not have a chance to really go through it. Because, you know, life, streaming, working. There's only so much time, I think, as you mentioned. <laughs> only so much time to do those things. Like a weird auditorium setup. Not free, it's cheap. I think only the DMS to buy it. Yeah, I think tabletop sim is kind of like that. What's wrong, Daddy? Did you send something? Yeah, it's Marl. Are you alright? You saw a child? Nothing will surprise Small PP here. Let's keep going. <laughs> Why do I let you guys do this to me? Why? 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 Yes, I will have to purchase Foundry. Here lies Daddy. R.I.P. <laughs> our beloved Daddy. No, I couldn't have died. I'm Daddy. I am. Because you named him Daddy. Uh, everyone has said it's definitely the strongest program for running Did tabletop you hear games. That there is a free trial for Final Fantasy There is, I mean. Right now, it includes an entirety of a realm of war. And the entirety of Heaven's Word. No restrictions on playtime. <laughs> it's random, Emmy. It's just random. It's R and Jesus. Enter the princess. I'm 16. I love tall boys. My proudest accomplishment is the black hole. Nice to meet you. Uh, hola, soy Ariana. Tengo 17 años. Soy del signo y Scorpio. My hobby is poison gas. <laughs> nice to meet you. Entry 3. I'm Marianella. I'm Virgo. I'm 15. I do a mean tornado. <laughs> nice to meet you. Entry number 4. I'm Cynthia. I'm 15 years of age and a vegetarian. My ambition is to cure plus. Nice to meet you. <laughs> what the heck? I apparently did not fight these uh, pageant ladies last time. That's so funny. Did I miss anything? Uh, use tabletop sim for Magic the Gathering. Okay. And Foundry is the strongest program for running tabletop games. Okay. Okay. I'll have to check it out. Do you know if, um, is Foundry resource heavy? Like, is my graphics card going to be like, stop, I'm in pain? <laughs> but. Bah. Bah. Forever zero. What kind of pageant is this? Thanks, Emmy. <laughs> Appreciate you. Uh, I haven't played Foundry. I've only seen YouTubers and streamers use it. Okay. Sorry, ladies. You know, Emmy, this uh, scene reminds me of your new favorite game. Parasite Eve. Where all of the people just disappeared in the audience there. It's kind of got that vibe. All right, I think there's a sword for Pierre up here. I know, the music's so good in this game. All right, we got our sword. We got our book, we got our sword. Good to go. YouTubers keeps getting autocorrected. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Whenever I'm on mobile, I often will use text-to-speech, and it's it's not very accurate. 
and part of me enjoys it. Because <laughs> then you get to see people try to translate whatever the heck Google spat out for you. I love it. <laughs> All right, there's uh, Luca. Inside the building, it was Sistine doing in here. His palace is beyond small pee pee. Same. All right, I don't want to go there. I want to get that treasure chest. Got to seal all. Perfect. See, so she wanted us to go up here. Oh, got a mithril. That's not a door. Okay. All right, up we go. There's a wild Wulu in chat. It's unfortunate, but it appears they were held captive before they died. It's too late. They are so close yet so far, no one can help them. The dragoons. There's Chrono. Little baby Chrono. They look so silly, frozen. Look at Marcy, she's so cute. Karsh, Zoa, Viper. You must keep going, Daddy. Isn't there a treasure chest, though? Over here? There it is. I remembered! Aha! Uh, another character I've been playing is a uh, half-orc. Uses living hair beer to trip people and curse or cast spells. His background is a barber. It's giving Sweeney Todd vibes. He's a witch. A sunset. All right. So we got to fight Wazuki out here. Oh yeah, we do have this heal. That's so cool. I forgot about that. So Cubby, do you have uh, any suggestions on a good Pathfinder, um, either podcast, vodcast, uh, stream that you really enjoy watching that a, a newbie like me might enjoy. For D and D, my favorite D and D podcast is N A D D P O D. Don't sing yet. Not another D and D podcast. They're so funny. Hellbound. Oh look, it's the bell from the other game. Can I talk to them? No, I just walk through them. Okay. All right, let's fight the guy. Come on. Naughty is bell. I hate this song in this battle. It's just so weird. It's all your fault, Daddy. Daddy, it's your fault. It's been a while, Daddy. I'm Miguel. I'm your fr daddy's friend. He's daddy's daddy's friend. Whee! Wait a second, Daddy. No, wait. I've been sitting here for 14 years. It's a long time. He's just chilling out here. How can this be? Fate. Fate knows all. Controls all. No one can run from fate. Even your presence was predestined. 
to be part of eternity. How about it, Daddy? No. No, I don't want to stay here forever. No, thank you. That doesn't sound cozy to me. Alright. Let's just get our stamina's up. Anti-black. That's racist. Wow. Okay. So we will forever zero. Uh, for YouTube vids and guides, I enjoy No Nets. The rules layer is a series for introducing D&D YouTubers to the game. Nice to see perspective, although those videos can be a bit bumpy because the GM running it is a stickler for the rules and doesn't always do the best job at explaining the mechanics. Ah. Yeah, as a GM, I tend to bend the rules. Uh, the rule of cool is uh, definitely in play at my table. As long as it's fair. Makes sense. Mark. 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 Strong minded. You ain't strong. You going down, girl. You in danger now. We got all these elements. We got all this power. What are you going to do to us? You ain't nothing. Oh, I guess if we miss a lot, does it matter? Uh, so I'll just have to check out No Nats and Rules Lawyer. I've heard of Rules Lawyer before. Okay, um, Moonshine. Let's get our defense up. Not that we need it. And Lynx. Oh, he's he's weak in the knees already. All right, that was easy. Well done, that's the way, Daddy. My, you've grown strong. Maybe, just maybe, you and your friends have the power to defeat fate and build a new future. Yes, Lavos. Lavos, Lavos. Yep, they doomed a whole future. Daddy seems to be the trigger, they said. We gotta go. I love you so much. This time for desire your bits. Don't worry. Farewell, Daddy. The future is yours for the taking. You, the one that Frozen Flame has chosen. My dear Lena, may you live in a happier tomorrow. Bye. Don't worry. A dragon will save us. We good. Well then, thank you, Mr. Dragon, for saving us. Appreciate you. Uh, did, uh, so if you talked to me, there were ads playing. Yes, I was just saying, I haven't, I've heard of Rules Layer before. It was referenced on another podcast as somebody to check out. 
Um, but no gnats I've not heard of, so I will definitely have to add that. In fact, let me copy that or screenshot it. There we go. I'll screenshot it so I can check that out later. Um, uh, the adventure path that they're doing is a bit tough starting out because it's the first encounter they're fighting goblins in the rafters of a building. Forces the characters to try and climb during combat, which uses up all their actions on their turns. They also use up a whole turns trying to pull items out of their bags and interact with them. That's so cute. From what I understand, Cubby, I think in Pathfinder, is it three actions that you get? And if you choose to attack with all three, you get penalties for the subsequent attacks or something like that. So just doing attacking is boring. Um, but if you get creative, you can do a lot of different things with that action economy compared to D&D, where you typically just get one, maybe an extra attack or a bonus. Um, it's a lot more versatility, I think, in Pathfinder with those options. Why'd you help us? I too would like to witness this. Thou shalt live, and how thou shalt die. Thou art planning to bring forth a new entity. Prepare myself for the anguish. Most melee characters want a trip or intimidate in combat or use magic items. Yes, that's so cool. It's boring when you just have to roll to attack. <laughs> the Sea of Eden. If thou intendest to deny the goddess of fate, speak with the ancient dragons. All right, now we got to fight off the dragons again. Cool. Daddy, are you concerned about the other world? Aren't you? Yeah. All right, we can back, go back to the other dimension. Perfecto. Oh, it's kind of cute. We end up here. You can aid other players. The thing about Pathfinder is the game is extremely balanced to be a team working together. I love that. Everybody has their own way to shine. I think that's really, really nice. So is there anything here? Oh yeah. Total distortions. If I pop here, what happens? Nothing. Okay. So that doesn't do anything yet. Yet. Uh, d and is just people trying to live their high damage fantasy. Casters are more about being versatile and useful in AoE encounters. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I definitely hear a lot of criticism um, about the mechanics of D&D. I mean, it is a war game. Right? That's that's its origins. That's where it comes from. Um, I do a lot of enhancing uh, with my homebrew with my folks to make sure that we have other ways that we're playing. Different things they can do. I've run some other systems here and there. Fate Core is really fun. I really liked the, running the Fate Core before. So we can't go to the end of, the end of time without Janice, can we? We literally need her. That's so rude. Okay. Well, I guess we'll have to get more characters. So let's, I guess, hop worlds. Ah, here's the dimensional gate. Kaboom. Yeah, but Fate's a really interesting system. It's much more narratively based. We scared him. We scared him. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome. Everybody's running from Taddy. Oh no! Emmy, look what you did! <laughs> Not bad, Daddy. You wiped out the whole island. <laughs> A revolt led by Daddy. Why do people kill each other? Daddy's starting a whole war. Oh my gosh, Emmy. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Uh, casters are more about being versed to... Oh, uh, especially at early levels. Casters will do half as much damage as marshals. 
I like that. I used to play a lot of Savage Worlds back in the day. Do I have a Savage Worlds book? I have this one. I don't know what this is. I haven't played it. I don't think this is Savage Worlds. Well, this is a D&D &D book. I don't know what it is. I don't know. It was on sale, so I bought it. It's not Savage Worlds, though. What is this? It's built off of 5th edition D&D. Okay. Okay. I'll have to read it. I don't even know what it is. I have an enormous amount of RPG games. <laughs> they have not had the chance to really fully bet and research. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, so you notice how the whole village is trapped and scared. We're gonna take this rainbow shell. Pogs. Daddy's minions. All right, now we have exploration again of both worlds. Oh, do we have to go the long way? No, oh, new enemy. I don't think I fought one of these before. Um, Lynx? Could you take out this kitty cat? Oh, that's a cool ability. Little shadow. Need to head to bed. Let's see you later, AOC, the second <laughs> and chat. All right, Cubby, thank you for coming in. Emmy, can we get a good night and a shouty for Cubby TV? It was good chatting with you. Appreciate learning a little bit about your interests and in Pathfinder. I will definitely uh, be exploring that in the future. It was wonderful to meet you. And thanks again for being my 300th follower. The heck? That's amazing. These things are scary. Wow, oh, wow. Oh. Ooh, is that Ultras? Oh, I love it. Love the Ultras. Big Final Fantasy VI fan here. I don't know if that's intended to be Ultras, but it reminds me of him. It's so cute. Now you seal in my skills, y'all. That's rude. That's heckin' rude. I have an Ultra Nova. Just for the principle. Oh, I guess Emmy is AFK. He will get you your shouty. There you go. A little overkill, but you know, that's the job. You're new too. I think. I don't recognize this character. Untune Shamans? Viapula? I ain't scared. What are you gonna do to me? Perfect. So we could spend a little time picking up summons. I think we have access to them now, but I want to get my boat. Up we go. I 
think there's anything here for me up here, actually. I don't know why I'm going up there. It's just that angry burb. Is he still angry? Oh, it's not even the burb anymore. It's that kitty cat. Okay. Alright, let's get these guys. Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! Oh look, there's my zaddy. Hello! Hello zaddy Karsh! We meet again! been a while, Lynx, or is it Daddy? After we fought you guys, we also entered Fort Tragonia. General! You're... He disappeared? Damn! This is bad. General, you are right? Ugh, Riddell! Don't just stand there. Help the general! I cannot believe just what happened to the general. Like, I can't believe it. What in Dragoon's name happened here? So like, what are all these shiny shards? Now, now, we have to stop the bleeding. Marcy, you pick up those broken pieces. Yes, let the child pick up the glass. <laughs> Brought the general to Hermit's hideaway and prayed for his recovery. He was able to escape death. The poor military taking control. What a shame. One of us will remain. The other will enter the meta. Oh yeah, we're taking Zaddy. Got the Tear of Hate. We are taking Zoa. Uh, chat, we have a new daddy who's joined the party. He's a big muscle head. Do we have a uh, name we would like to name Muscly Daddy? Any takers? I'm personally privy to just Zaddy. <laughs> a Himbo Daddy? Himbo Daddy? We could do Himbo Daddy. He's such a Zaddy. Himbo. Bull Daddy. Ooh, Sunny. I don't think you've named a character yet, have you? Let's go with Bull Daddy. He is a bull. Bull Daddy. I'm not going to remember who any of these characters are. <laughs> bull Daddy. All right, we want Bull Daddy. Full disclosure, Bull Daddy is my ordained name. <laughs> the look at his outfit, isn't he sexy? He's so fun. All right, Starkey, I need my stuff. Where are you, small PP? Switch to this gun. Switch to Mithril. Take these accessories off. Oh, he uses gloves. Do I have a spectral glove? I do. There we go. Okay, small pee pee. Let's take off your elements. And give Zaddy Bull Daddy some skills. All right. We're counting on you.
Be careful. Oh, well, try, girl. Is this guy over here ready to give me some churros? This one I thought business was coming on. The poor guys storm in. A kid named Daddy attacks. It's a mess. Sure is. Let's check, um... Let's check fortunes. Yes. Mon ami. In your eyes, I perceive both the look of beauty and the look of a beast. Be mindful not to bring about your own end. The truth is beginning to reach out to engulf you. Ooh, bull daddy. I sense deep sadness beneath that mask of yours. In the near future, you too shall find your sanctuary of peace. And Lynx? Well, and then this is interesting. You're not dead or anything, are you? Has anybody called you back from beyond the grave? You must be key to the destruction of this entire planet. Did you know that the critically acclaimed MMO RPG Final Fantasy XIV Go off, has a free trial and includes the entirety of a Realm Reborn and the award-winning Heaven's Ward expansion up to level 60 with no restrictions on playtime? Yes. Up to level 60 with no restrictions on playtime. That is all. All right, so you still trade. Okay. This dude doing anything over here? No. Oh, I should check the armor shop. Can I build stone? A lot of dialogue? Is that what you said? Heavy dialogue? Are you talking about in Final Fantasy XIV? Or in, uh, in Chrono Cross right now? She's such a badass. The planet ending stuff. Yeah. It gets serial. All right. So that starts that quest. There's Pierre Boo. He won't join us. That daddy. The privilege of meeting moi is a villain after all. Just as more thought, you can never trust those silent types. Oh, honey. <laughs> Such so dramatic drama. Drama, drama. But I wonder... Oh, these kids are in my way. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy. You're killing our planet. I think so, maybe. Then bring this boy daddy to me as soon as you find him. Yes, sir. Why, Sir Lynx? Sir Lynx, where have you been all this time? Do you know a boy named Daddy? Oh, and the man behind the <laughs> Dragoon's Bull Daddy. <laughs> where are you going to take him to custody, sir? There's an urgent command from the front command. Grobic. Fisting daddy is Grobic. Alright, so he's off to the manor. I don't think there's anything over here. No, just this dude just wandering around with his gun. Oh, and I don't... Do I not have Corch's boat? I don't. Okay. So many daddies. I know. It's the oops all daddies game. So let's temporarily swap. Uh, Harley for sweaty daddy. And we're going to have sweaty daddy meet sweaty daddy. Oh, did I give him... Yes. He uses a glove. Okay. 
So he has a pimp smack. That's his weapon. Alright, sweaty daddy, I brought your brother sweaty daddy. They look like they're gonna kiss. They should kiss. Yes. Alright, did that unlock rainbow? Equipment? No, but I have up to stone. Okay. I think I gotta buy the hammer in Marbule. But I did at least unlock that. So let me see. Great hammer, silver axe, bone axe, iron axe. Nope, I have to buy it. Okay. I thought so. It's in Marbule, I think. Okay. Let's uh, get Monami back. Take on the manor. Hello. Sir Lynx, go on through. You bet your ass I'll go through. You ain't gonna stop me. I'm tough. Being stubborn, eh? Alright, so they're gonna kidnap her. Which is unfortunate. Such a sad trope in RPG games. Her dress reminds me of Ideas from Final Fantasy VIII. There's Grobic, the fisting daddy. Actually, this way. So we want to get fist, uh, full daddy is, uh, level seven tech. He has a kitty cat. That's so cute. Well, the eye can open it. Right, Bull Daddy, open it. It's got your toss and spike. <laughs> there you go, Bull Daddy. Got your technique. Karsh had a chest? No. Okay. This guy's moved, right? Diapers Venom, and a Rainbow Shell. I love his strut. It's so butch. Alright, I don't think I can do anything about that. I think I need Lucia. Bye. No, there ain't no frozen flame in there, you fool. It's not a treasure. It's not a treasure.
All right, he hasn't gone completely ballistic yet. And there's this one Dragoon, I think, that's still sleeping <laughs> over here. It's so cute. <laughs> he just couldn't be bothered. He's busy. Is Norris in here? He is. Okay, let me go swap and get Norris. So I think he'll give him his top shot. Oh look, a Tonberry! Perfect, it's going after the game. The bot, I mean. Alright, swap you for Sergeant Daddy. Hello, I'm Sergeant Daddy. Sir Lynx. Huh? Ooh, a dad joke? Alright, Rob. Dad joke it is. You ask, you shall receive. You might hate it, but you will get it. <laughs> Alright, Raph. You ready? You ready for this silly, silly joke? About to go to bed? Alright, you'll like this one. So, how did the porn star like his ribeye steak? Bone in. <laughs> Hope you liked your joke. <laughs> Appreciate it. Oh, good. <laughs> we'll get some sleep. Sweet dreams. Oh, no, Sherry. <laughs> Give you a calm. Silence. Sir, this has been bothering me. This man's not Lynx. What? He's daddy. So the daddy commanding the insurgent troops is the real Lynx. Now everything makes sense. Daddy received the prison key. No, I guess he doesn't give me the top shot yet. Okay. Sag. All right, Norris, let's send you back and get old daddy. Old daddy's gonna punch him. Do, 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 do. Let's go to the library. So there should be a treasure near the epic. Oh, Balthazar's still here. Isn't there a patch? Hatch? No? There it is. Bro literally has a time machine right here. Oh, and this guy, I think, changes your name. Oops. Oops. I don't want to change my name. I'm Bull Daddy. But we can change Lynx's name. You cannot. Oh, no. You cannot change Lynx's name. Oh. Guess not. But this is a time machine right here. Literally a whole heckin' time machine. Just chilling in the basement. It is oops all daddies. We're full of them. Alright, let's go save Riddell. Got 
Ah, jo. Tools will spend centuries building time machines rather than going to therapy. Facts. Facts. Oh, it's locked from the inside. Oh. Well, that was rude of it. You know, the world would be a little bit better, Snake, I think, if people got a little more therapy. <laughs> it wouldn't take much. Have we killed these things before? Ooh, that's new. Lantern Jaw. Use a black, whoop, black hole. Wah. Suck them down in. Da 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 da. So I'm curious, uh, where does Silent Snake come from? Is it kind of like Silent Snape? Like Metal Gear Solid? Whoosh. That water's flowing fast. The water too fast. We should be able to stop it somewhere. Yeah, I hope so. That's my goal. Is there a treasure chest? There is a treasure chest. Got it. There's one. These things are annoying. Watch out. I'm walking here. Well, we scared it. Can't quite get the chest, but we scared it. Boop, 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 boop. Very nice. Okay. Looks like you can push it, so push it. Don't be so silly, just push the darn thing. Got a rock. All right, so that opens that door. That's now unlocked, which is helpful. Oh, but those things are back. Are you serious? Okay. <laughs> you solved the puzzle. Now do it again. We we didn't think you worked hard enough to solve the puzzle. We'd like to see you do it again. Well then. You just toss these barrels over. Da da. Water current control room, floodgate bridge under repair. Oop. Pardon me, sir. Excuse me. Coming through. Beautiful. Beautiful. Spin it around. Do, 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 do. Here we go. We're gonna get back into the mansion. Come on. Kind of freaks you out knowing you got all these weird random goblins just chilling in your basement.
Yeah, I'm gonna worry about that chest later, because that's Lucia's um level nine ability. Or level seven ability. And we won't have her for some time. We've gotta get our body back. Whoops, that's where I came in. Where am I going? Down. And up. There we go. So if I go back up here, should be able to run down here. Can't go that way. Can't go back up that way. Okay. Oh. Oh. Try it again. We're leaving poopy footprints everywhere now. It's quite a complicated waterway for one house. Honestly. A little opulent, I think. Daddy found Nimble. Okay. Can't go that way, right? Can we go... Um... Oh, we've got to wrap back around. Okay, okay. I see where I gotta go. So we'll go back up here. Mod love! We have some great mods in our channel. Feel free to give any one of them a follow. They are super heckin' great. We love our mods. Tighten it. Perfect. Perfect. Hey, Easley. Did you raise enough money for a hot tub stream? <laughs> How's it going, friend? Uh, Y'all give Easley a follow. He is. A, he's a. He's a good pal. I'll <laughs> get you a shout out. There you go. Easley's great. We were chatting uh, about you earlier and your love of Final Fantasy IX. You and your challenge runs. Did you end up finishing your run? It sucks though that your um, your timer or whatever, your stream had crashed. Sounds like you're going to have to do that local recording. You did it! Yes! How did you feel about your progress? It seemed like a mixed bag. Uh, my internet's hide, <laughs> but the run did good. <laughs> Saved a hell of a lot of time. Fantastic! I'm glad that you were able to get some, some of that time back. Yeah, I've never sped run anything. I don't know if the, the anxiety related to that uh, <laughs> would go well with me. I think I'd freak out. Stream's going great. It's been a really good time. We've just been vibing, hanging out, uh, listening to the wonderful Chrono Cross soundtrack. Um, this is my second playthrough on an, is a new game, or yeah, second new playthrough. We're doing New Game Plus. Uh, we're trying to get all the characters uh, in Chrono Cross, and there are 45 in total, but unfortunately, you can't get them all on the first run. So I'm taking my time trying to work on getting all of them. So we have to play it at least three times to get them all because of certain narrative choices you make throughout the game. Oh, he's dead. Um, but the new game plus mode is really fun. It's actually really fun because they don't have to think as hard about um, boss battles or combat in general. I just can kind of wipe through everything. <laughs> You also get, not only you get your levels back, but you get all of your elements for the most part. I mean, you don't get your summons or anything, but you get all the elements that you got in your first playthrough and all the equipment. So I have like end game gear uh, equipped on all my characters right now. So it feels like hacks, but I'm loving it. It's so fun. 
Uh, Final Fantasy IX is amazing, says Ghost. It is. IX is good. I need to actually play through it. Um, I have played, just haven't gotten far through it. Um, but I will. I will. Someday. When I get there. We're on to Final Fantasy V on Fridays for Final Fantasy Friday. So we're slowly progging. Slowly progging. Um, on the Pixel Remasters there. Uh, previous best time was 9.10. Tonight was 8.45. Let's go easily. That's fantastic. Hey, it's Fargo! <laughs> so, there's two different Fargos in this game. One is a capitalist slaver Fargo. He's awful. This Fargo is pirate Fargo. He's the good guy. <laughs> I'm excited! We're getting Fargo back. I forgot we get Fargo. Yay! Uh, Silent Snakes is something like speedrunning. I could probably do because you're ultimately competing against yourself. Put me directly against people and the anxiety hits hard. Yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't mind doing that as like a casual run. Um, Final Fantasy VI. I know easily you said you haven't played VI, but VI has a, a randomizer. And there's a whole community around Worlds Collide. Um, and so every week you get a different seed. And so people will... Uh, challenge themselves to complete the seed and so you have to do certain things and you get rewards depending on how the seed is written there's a lot of interesting changes um i tried the beginner seed just for fun um and i liked it and the community like showed up on my stream I'm like hello hello new friends this is cool it's a cool community um it seems like easily you were enjoying uh connecting with the the final fantasy 9 speed running community so but I think I would do that again, maybe as a group. If it wasn't just me and we we're doing it for fun. Um, I know uh, Easley did a really cool stream with Rides the Shoe Puff, where they were both doing, I guess, the Excalibur run or some kind of a weapon run um, for Steiner. So I guess in the game for nine, if you get to a certain point of the game under a certain amount of time, you get that special weapon uh, for Steiner that you can't get otherwise. And so him and Shoop were racing each other, but in a kind, you know, supportive way, encouraging each other. And so on Shoop's stream, you could see easily like in the corner down here. And then like it was the other way too, um, where you could kind of see where the other person was progressing. And so you would see like, where they would catch up with each other or where they'd get ahead or fall a little bit behind, but they stayed right in tandem for the most part when I was watching. That was a really cool event. It was really cool. Um, love it, loving. I have been loving it, being truthful. They welcome me so well. Yay! Yeah, I've got a few speedrunners in my community. They're fantastic. Speedrunners are really cool. Well, welcome in easily. Uh, I know you were streaming for quite a while, so... Just a, a quick promo for some self-care. Uh, if you uh, got some post-stream stuff, make sure you do that. I did dual guest star to make it happen that way. Just use virtual camera. Yep, yep. Uh, I use the guest star mode for my Dungeons & Dragons campaign on Wednesdays uh, with some fellow streamer friends. It works perfectly. You get individual browser choices. Stupendous, stupendous. It is very good, isn't it? <laughs> It's great. It gives uh it just makes it easier to set up. Once you've built the overlay, then you just plug and play, everybody logs in, good to go. The only challenge I've had easily that I have noticed is um once I've plugged everybody into the stream and I go to a BRB scene for us to take a break, I don't have their their um browser sources embedded on those pages. Um and so then I can't hear them because I can only hear them through the, the microphone. I'm words uh, through the browser source, uh, the previewed browser source, which comes into my headset. Um, I can't hear them when I don't have them open. And so that's kind of annoying. I've got to figure out a workaround to that. But yeah, it's a really cool system. Eve, ho! So easily, we have been having a heckin' good time naming all the player characters very interesting things. Mostly daddies, like Bull Daddy here. 
So uh, would you like the honor of naming this uh, smoking <laughs> foul-mouthed pirate? <laughs> He's daddy on the inside. <laughs> You're pulling your leg. <laughs> We're not here to rescue you. We're here to rescue the general's daughter. Oh, is that so? Well, he ended up saving me anyway. Let me help. Do you know where the Viper's daughter is? Uh, yeah, she was taken next turn. How do we get out of here? Here's the key to the prison. Oh, great. I'm gonna go free the others. Plank Daddy. All right. So when we recruit him, we will name him Plank Daddy. <laughs> Argo equals Plank Daddy. That's hilarious. Hilarious. Uh, yeah, I'm missing some of my characters. Um... But I can show you a few of them. So we've got Bull Daddy, uh, Sergeant Daddy, Sweaty Daddy, Pimp Daddy, <laughs> uh, Mon Ami, Small Pee Pee, Miss Sexy Pants, Big Pee Pee, and Van. Van did not get a name, unfortunately. He is the child. <laughs> It's been so funny. <sighs> Hi, hilarious. Hi, hilarious. How did you end up in there? What's down here? Oh, okay. It's the best daddy team. It really is. All right, Riddell, or Orca, we got to fight him. Watcha cha 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 cha! Don't you go interfering with my cooking? Actually, you'll make a fine ingredient for my soup. Let's get to cooking. All right, Orca. BRB. Okay, easily. Bum 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 bum. All right, Bull Daddy. Let's see you beat up this cook. Toss and spike. Toss that man. Look at you go. 887 damage. Let's go. That's amazing. Ooh, you missed. That's rude. Seven hundred and fifty-two just from a melee attack. Okay. All right, you got your level seven. Let's do forever zero. It's so pretty. Five hundred and fifty three. Oof. All right, I kind of want links to do the finishing blow just in case um, the forget me not pot picks him up. I doubt it will, but doesn't hurt to just do it anyway. And he's down. Good daddy's daddy, bull daddy. He's just doing his thing. He's so cute. Told you he's not Lynx. Oh, I feel like I've done something terrible. Oh, look. Orca, join Chaparty. Oh, we've got the uh, cook daddy. Um, if there's anyone in chat that has not named a character. Got another daddy available. I'm thinking cooking daddy or cook daddy. Chef daddy. Could do chef daddy. C oop H E F Daddy. D D Y. 
Chef Daddy it is. And now we have access to changing character names if we need to. Don't think I'm going to take Chef Daddy with us, but he has been recruited. Why can't we get two Sergeant Daddies? That would be nice. He's kind of cute. His little gun. Hello, I've come to distract you. Guess we ain't talking our way out of this one. No poop. No poop. He's a new guy. Or private or sergeant. They're white elements, huh? Oh, 393. Dead. Do you have feral cats? You do have feral cats. Perfect. Get your kinnies. Is that enough to murder them? It is not, but it was close. All right, Lynx. Bam. Bam. Goodbye. Those might be creatures for the forget-me-not pot. All right, here comes Grobic. Bum, bum, bum. Ba -da -da. Bull Daddy, let's go. And Lynx. Rocket a feast. She ain't bothered. One bit by that, sir. She eats fists for breakfast. Did you hear that there's a free trial for Final Fantasy XIV now? If there is! The entire, Tell us, Ian. Board, as well as the award winning expansion, Heaven's War. You can play up to level 60 for free with no restrictions on playtime. Absolutely no restrictions on playtime. Thank you, Ian M. Scott, for that amazing uh, introduction. <laughs> Oh, thanks easily. Yes, the, there is, in fact, if you did not know, a free trial for Final Fantasy XIV. It's a wonderful game. Wonderful game. Have you ever played XIV easily? I can't remember if you said you have. Okay, elements. Use Forever Zero. This should take him out. Hopefully. Although he is a black innate. I have quite a collection of people I've gotten to spam the copy pasta easily. You are on that list. There is one for you. Um, I got one of Droogle. That was a fun one to get. This is very fast though. Very fast paced. Oh, he healing himself. He healing? Really? Oh, he's on his knees. Let's go. Grobic down. What you gonna do, slap me? I ain't scared of you. Get out of here. Um, We will black hole. Only up to Heaven's Word. All right, all right. Do you play, uh, did you play on the UK server or the North American server? Because if you haven't played on the North American server, highly recommend it. I have a tune over on a European server. The population is just so low. There's nothing there. I'm used to like the Final Fantasy 14 nightlife. <laughs> There's nothing in the party finder over there. 
It was so sad. I had never seen it so dead. All right, that's another star. Time for this, baby. Go and destroy them. North America, yay! Uh, I play on Ultras on the Primal Data Center. As does Emmy. Emmy's in my free company over there. Uh, Proxy, he's here. He's in the free company. Sig's in the free company. Uh, Ghost is in the free company. He just joined us. Well, well, well. More bark than bite, I think this monster has. Let's get these grids up. That's right, you punch that jerk. You go, daddy. All right, let's get your... Oh, he's almost done. He's done. <laughs> I didn't even get an element used. That's funny. All right. Part one. I thought we already destroyed it. It must be a new type. Bro, where are you gonna run? A library? There ain't nothing in that library that's gonna protect you from a big robot. It's already behind us. Whoop, keep going. No, we're trapped. What do we do? We don't have time. Part two. It is a cool design for a mech, though. Bam, bam. Rude. I was punching you. Let me punch you. Bam, bam. Links, why are you missing, bro? He's a giant mech. How do you miss that? It's a giant target. Oh my god, it's almost dead again already. <laughs> oh, this new game plus is so funny. Oh, it's done. Okay. <laughs> that makes me laugh. There's a button that lowers the ladder inside the bookshelf. Hurry, you have a little time. Thanks, buddy. And here comes Grobic. Unbelievable! Break through the window. Do it now. Okay. Don't have to tell me twice. Oh yeah, this is funny. He tramples them with the dinosaurs, dragons. <laughs> This is great. You're... Why did you save us? You oppose the poor military. Grobek finds that interesting. Grobek only takes orders from one who is stronger. Thus, Grobek will join you in battle. Grobek joined the party. I think I'm gonna name him Fisting Daddy. Fist. Fisting probably won't fit, so Fist Daddy. Okay, I'm fist daddy. Call upon fist daddy whenever you all need help. Let's escape while we still can. There should be a boat ready. Let's head to Hermit's Hideaway. Yay, we got a boat. We got a boat. 
All right, the map is unlocked. We can go do stuff now. So I've got to make a decision on what I want to do. Do I want to get more summons? Do I want to brog story? I don't know. I don't know. I think that is a question for next week's me. So let us save our game. Slot one. And let's see who is still on for us to raid tonight. Let me exit this game. Okay. So as always, this has been a fun, fun stream. Uh, adding the hilarious element of calling everyone daddy. <laughs> Oh, not frames, not frames. Um, not only uh, did I have a great time on the stream, y'all, uh, right hand, 300 followers. The heck? 300 followers. That's so exciting. That delights my little heart. Amazing, amazing support tonight in the stream. Y'all are so cool. So cool. Let's see who's on. Oh! <gasps> Ooh, all right. I know who we're raiding immediately. Immediately know who we're raiding. Later, friend. Have a good night, ghost. If you'd like to uh, participate in the raid, I'd appreciate it. Appreciate it. But if you got to go, you got to go. Um, but let me uh, do a multi shout out for several uh, cool people that I see online right now. Any one of them would be a perfect person to raid tonight but we can only raid one so i'm gonna give a shout out to all of these people i think i can do five one two three four i can do another one here are all sorts of interesting cool streamers people i like people i enjoy hanging out with uh, if you're looking for someone uh, to continue some cool vibes, feel free to go check all those cool people out. But for now, let me give you my socials. If anyone wants to stalk me on the internet, the best way to do that is to check out my card. Uh, you will find my uh, YouTube, my Twitter, my TikTok, which might be disappearing, who knows, um, but I do make some cozy little TikToks on there that are fun. Uh, our schedule is as follows. I'll be back tomorrow uh, during the daytime streaming Final Fantasy V, maybe a little bit of Final Fantasy XIV. Um, but we'll be back uh, doing what we do, enjoying that pixel remaster. We're moving into World 2, I think. Last I remember. Um, so without further ado, uh, let's get our raid started. I'm going to have us raid into Game Croy. So Game Croy is a fantastic member of the Treppies and was doing a charity stream last week, raising money for Games for Love. He's heckin' cozy. Oop, did I do that wrong? Hold on. Raid Game Croy. There it goes. So if you would like to copy uh, the messages uh, for the raid, here are a couple samples right there. If you are subbed, uh, feel free to copy that bottom one. If not, the one up top is available to you as well. Feel free to copy those messages so we can share on the Twitch love uh, to GameCry who's playing uh, Like a Dragon Ishin, which is a really heckin' great cozy game. I was watching another streamer play it, so I'm excited to raid in, see how he's doing. Um, he also had a really bomb uh, cosplay uh, that he had dressed up as a member of uh, the 13 from Kingdom Hearts. It was really neat. It was really neat. So thank you for the cozy stream. Well, thank you, Silent Snake, for the subby wubby. I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. That's not necessary. And you chose to sub, which I thought was really sweet. And I think you gifted a sub too. Very nice. Very kind. Thank you so much. Rachel, again, I'll be back tomorrow uh, in the morning uh, to stream Final Fantasy for Final Fantasy Friday. Until then, I will see y'all uh, in my dreams, I guess. Uh, you are saved, you are kind, you are loved. Uh, do what you gotta do, friends. And hopefully we can send this love on over to Game Koi. All right, y'all. Take care. <laughs>